Thank you. 
And welcome back to Shadows of Men, campaign two, episode oh, 15. Oh, we're live. <laughs> yes, we've been what? live. I just, I've, ha I've had us muted, because, you know, stream, free stream. Yeah, fair. Now, before we begin, I got me a couple announcements for y'all, starting with the fact that <gasps> the Obi art is done. Look, look at that dagger. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Girl. Look at that I'd, rather look at, I'd rather look at the bird. I mean, I, I, I don't handsome. blame you. Sky is a beautiful bird. I, do I was gonna him. say, look at that bird. <laughs> that bird. Look at him. He's so. Oh yeah, and, and and Omen with a custom and rapier he, and and that cloak and all that. But look at the bird. It's the only time a bird. It's the only. It's the only time a bird hasn't meant fuck you. <laughs> That's great. Look at me. All right. Uh, other than that, uh, this is an announcement that I really wish Jacob was here for. But uh, after some talks, the Louis Saudos of Sidria campaign is canceled and will no longer be streamed. Oh. I mean, we still get to yeah. play, but. Well, okay, look, uh, for anyone watching who's curious, there was a lot of internal debate. Maybe we'll do a, a podcast thing on it, but we feel like this is the right move moving forward for many, many reasons, and just know that it was not a decision made easily. We all have fond memories of the campaign, and we will all miss it dearly. Yeah. Now, with that said, back to this campaign. Are you guys ready to roll? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What has that okay. ever stopped us? What, what if I want to fall? If some of us, me or in particular, maybe feel a little flat this session, we did just basically come off a complete and total TPK. So. Tyranny of Dragons is a scary module. It is very unforgiving for what yes, it looks like. That's extremely that's scary. scary. Now, just a little bit. With that said, when last we left the wolf pack, Omen, the Tieflane Warlock, Anya, the Wolfkin Barbarian, Armin, the Dev. The devilish ASMR ranger, Celica, the fawn druid, Lipia, the Inugami rogue, and Roderick, the Goliath fighter. Bard. I'm killing a fighter for the first bit, because that's what you mostly yeah. are. Anyways. The party had made their way to the ruins after meeting up with an old friend of, from Omen's village named Harkin. After learning about his very limited point of view, and learning more of the history of the first champion of Arcane of the war of the, war of the fiendish invasion over 10,000 years ago. The prior returned to Jewelstead, where, following a plan made for, by Armin, were able to successfully infiltrate the home of uh, Jonathan, Lord Commander Sir Jonathan Wellington. The most finding, pretentious fucking finding, name on the planet. Finding stuffed Ken's yokai children of all degrees, as well as two survive as well as one survivor, and a gate leading to Orrington. The party followed the gate where they met the fool of Elquintia, who toyed with the party before causing an avalanche and teleporting away. Before they were before they were engulfed in the rugged snow, however, Armin put down the cabin and everyone went inside, now surrounded by by a lot of frickin' snow. So the real question is, is that a shit ton or an ass load? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Anyway. Anyways, you guys uh, are stuck in the snow currently in this cabin. Because of the nature of the cabin, it couldn't be moved, but you are still surrounded. So is this why we have three months of downtime because we're waiting for the fucking snow to melt? No. Uh, wrong campaign. No. Wrong oh, campaign. Wrong yep. Anyways. What do you guys do? Well, first things first, Armin is standing just right in front of the door. His back's facing you all. He will use regen his regeneration feature because he got injured in that we fight against pretty, the fool. We are pretty, we are all pretty yep. Hard, By the yeah. way, reminder, Omen, the last thing you heard was maybe next time you won't collapse like a building with two parents inside. Yeah, I remember. Yep. He does kind of walks over to Armin and places a hand on his back. Feeling okay? He's just 
facing the door, silent as a church mouse. Are you sure a church mouse? It may hurt, but it may hurt you to know this, but I don't actually think that last comment was meant at you. I know. Uh, insight open. Me insight or? <laughs> yes, you insight. I think I know, but... Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Armin's from Warrington. Might explain why he's a little, uh, quiet. <laughs> Yeah. If I try opening the door, because normally with snow, when it's packed up against the door, if you open it, it'll just be a solid wall of snow. Technically, it would be, yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, uh, stop meagling. Believe me, I know from experience. Yes. However, yes, that's what happens. Also, because of the magical nature of the cabin, like, and who you allow in, yes, it's just a wall of snow. <laughs> Oh, may or may not be a bit stuck. Hmm. Armin is going to use produce flame to make a flame in his hand. He's just gonna like start swiping against the wall of the against this wall of snow. Uh, are you just are you trying to clear a path that way, or are you just testing the waters with this, so to speak? Uh, to start my test, well, well, we're, in, we're inside the the cat. We're inside the cottage. I'm testing the waters to see if it's gonna collapse. Me okay. Testing the snow. You to see if it's so to see, to see if he swipes, if it makes a clear path, or if the snow like collapses when he when he melts any of it. I had to check the description of this item real quick before I give you a definitive answer. Because technically, yes, and. Yeah. Technically, no. I'm echoing off someone. I heard my echo. What item, out of curiosity? The cabin. The cabin's an item. Mm -hmm. Yes, which, and like, it's very particular on its rolling. Uh, God, where was it on here? You need me to get it for you, or? You might, because it might not be loading up. Uh, do, 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 do. Pins. That, that. Nope. Yeah, it's not loading up. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. But yes. Because there is a there is a debate <laughs> here that I need the exact wording though for this. If you like running of things are send it, send, DM it to me. Send it, send it to me. Like, send the image. The okay. Alright, uh, cottage chest, uh... No expense, I'm just trying to open it. Okay. There, so you don't lose it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, technically, based on the wording here, only fiends and fae can't enter unless you choose to let them. So as you do so, it does begin to start slowly collapsing before, like you, you can, you have time to shut the door. I'd say, just shuts the door. You would need to find a way to like burn it all really quickly, like with that, so it wouldn't collapse inward. Like it wouldn't overflow the cabin just because of the laws of what this is, but the spaces do need to be filled, obviously. He like looks at Roderick. Goliath, can you try and shovel this, shovel the snow out of the way? I, I can give it a try. Uh, athletics. Okay. Disadvantage. Back. This could uh, literally weigh to weigh more than a ton of snow. Well, unless someone gives you. you... Well, one oh. second. Well, no, he could. He can't because of uh, you know, you're in the cabin. There's limited space here. You, well, you, well, you well just, no, you, but, but, but the... you just don't but, grow to a larger yeah, size. That, oh, that, that's that's the wording of it. Yeah. In that case, you would counteract the advantage. So twenty six. It takes he... you a good hour to carve a path back to the gate, but you do so. You take one level of exhaustion, though. Uh, don't know what that does, but okay. Basically, you uh, have disadvantage on skill checks. Disadvantage yeah. on skill checks until you uh get until rest. you get rid of the, which you know it's still longer. nighttime. So, uh, but yeah, you guys follow Roderick. Uh, he does. He does make sure that once everyone's out and there is a clear path, 
Uh, once everyone's near the portal, he's going to, just for him, mm -hmm. he is going to use, uh, he's going to drop, or not drop it, uh, use Paradise to make the cottage yep. drop back. And uh, if you're wondering why I'm not having you side. roll a survival check to see, uh, you know, like, where the portal is and everything, Armin's a ranger, I'm going to roll that, like, you know, he, like, this would technically fall under flavor terrain for him. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Come, In come the come. biggest sense of technicality. Anyways. Okay. So you guys make it back. Uh, the avalanche doesn't seem like it got to the portal itself. So you guys are actually kind of lucky there. Uh, however, on the other side is Wellington's basement, though it does seem like there are guards in the other side. Okay. Before we get there, as as we're walking, uh, anyone that's near Armin, go. You did hear him say, "Orington of all places, son of a bitch." If he just stares at him. Alright. No. Let's go. Okay. I also assume you take the cabin. Yeah, he takes the cabin. Yeah. 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 Alright. You, that's, you guys... that's my cabin. I'll keep it. Do you guys walk through the gate? Yep. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be taking care of Brooke and the um and the pup. Yep, uh, the Henjokai yeah. child, which, Lippia, mm -hmm. if you want to talk to them at any point, if anyone wants to talk and try to get the story of what happened. Lippia uh, would uh, would actually uh, talk to the pup. It's like, are you... Can you tell me what happened? Persuasion. The performance bit's the same. I assume it's the same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No big go. change. Thank you. Huh. Then. Seventeen. All right. Seventeen then. Scary lady took us. Took others. Said she took their souls. Yeah. Souls. Yeah. Scary lady took their souls. That's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we couldn't save the others. Remember, they are a pup right now. They can't yeah. go into humanoid form because of what they are. Yeah, I know. Uh, Lip uh, Lipia. Uh, uh, puts her muzzle near the pop and just nuzzles. Not safe though. Not safe. Persuasion. I believe their names were Nagisa and uh, Hinashikata. Yep. Yep. This was Hinashika still is very much in shock. You. It doesn't take an insight to figure out that this child has probably gone through an ordeal and probably might still be in shock. Yeah. Uh, that's just... why Anya. That's why Anya's not testing, not pushing her luck. Uh, yep. Lipia just gives uh, the pup a tentative lick on the cheek. So it's... If before you can even, it backs away. He backs away. Yeah. Right. Give the pup space. Right. Alright. Do you guys go through the gate? Yeah. Yep. Yep. As you return, Warrington. there are several guards, like, mostly human. Uh, a few have, like, uh, a tiefling or two. And in there is Sir Elton. Oh, perfect timing. We've been here for a bit. Keep in mind, it took like an hour, hour and a half for Roderick to shuffle through, so... You notice that uh, Nagisa is not in the cage anymore. Uh, she's not in the room, it seems like. That's the young one. To... She's at our... Uh... She's taken to the station. We're doing everything we can for her. I see you saved another one. I look over to Lipia. Tell the young one that I'm safe. I assume Lipia's in human horn for this. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Lipia would uh, say um, to the pub. 
Nagi's her safe. Persuasion. Um, Yes! They breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> this, poor, this poor one's been through an awful lot, and to be fair, so have we. He had a gate. Where does it lead to? Orington. Somewhere in a mountainous region. Makes sense. Would would, the... would would he know like if it was near one of the towns that's up on the mountain or? I believe based on your history check last time, it was like north to the capital. There are like some towns in the mountains, but you know that would require. That's what I meant. Was there? Was it near any mountainous towns? Uh, history check with advantage. Twenty two. 22? Yes. Uh, you're not sure how far away, because you didn't know exactly where you were, yeah. but you do know that Vic Victory and Norfolk were uh, two towns located there. So sort of like an in-between between the two, then? I mean, it's possible you guys were there. That would be a survival check, with not with advantage, because like you never you self, you yourself never were in those towns. Oh, Lord, just for the sake of it. Yeah, 11. I mean, look, you were kind of just so worried about getting out of there, you never took time to figure out, like, okay, that's where the stars are, this is there, there. You Which never, fair. Yeah, you never took the time to figure that out, so you just know you're in that area, you're not sure exactly where. He go, uh, But he goes, oh, it was in the mountainous region near, in Orrington, but no, it is a, it is a clever play. No one, would have, no one would have tried to look for him in Orrington. No. Especially and even given if we, how they feel. And even if we could, even if we suspected to look there, the sick board, it would be difficult to convince the Empress to allow us to send guards to search for him. No. We also encountered surprisingly tough resistance. <laughs> Wellington himself? No, not Wellington. A crazed contortionist wearing a jester's outfit, calling herself the Fool of something or other. The Fool of what? Alquenta. She called, she called herself the Fool of Alquentia. I'm gonna roll history check for him, because of his line of work. He, cut, he, he cuts up so Omen doesn't have to uh, try and bring up that she's from Alquentia. Alright. I've heard I've heard of this individual. They've been active the last five years. They seem they, the Inugami with us claim that it took it took other souls. That matches up with our reports, though. Mm -hmm. There have she has left bodies in disturbing poses. Sometimes oh, she yeah. okay. Sometimes they sometimes they are carved with a smile in their face. Other times their eyes are ripped out. Makes sense. He's certainly a cheerful person. I was I didn't. As as what I glimpsed. I have not encountered her in person before. I have only yeah. heard rumors and reports. Pray that you never do. Have you heard anything about what this this fool is? Rumors spread across the land. Some would claim she is just a simple woman in a costume. Others would claim she is the embodiment of evil. I do not know, because I have not encountered it myself. All I have are the rumors of terrified men and women. And fear does a lot to exaggerate. Yeah, I can understand that. I got the briefest of glimpses into her mind. I've never seen such chaos before. Interesting. Be mindful if you do encounter her. While we did while we did harm her, she did not seem to register the pain of our attacks. I will make note of that. Mm. In the meantime, she's also inhumanly dexterous. She can manipulate things unreal. I will. I've heard as much. I do not know which um, motivations, though. However, Captain, I must ask: Have you seen? The um attic. I have. My men have confirmed that those are indeed more of what we have found down here. Yeah. 
Remember, no one knows he and you, okay? Yeah, that's yep. okay. Ooh, <laughs> oh, wow. Damn, Fiori. Please try to make sure they're giving proper bear. We'll do what we can. However, for now, rest well. You have saved two lives. That is something to be proud of. Come along, little one. We shall see about what we can do for you. What a uh, basin. Wellington was the one pressing charges and making the accusations. Without him, he will be released within the week. And if he smiles a bit, like, that's good. A full investigation will go into the actions of Wellington now that I have the means of which to do so. We will uncover everything he was trying to hide. He will never have power in Zargon again. Of that you have the word of me. Of that you have my word of. Thank you. My guess, my guess real quick is that he was planning on using this portal to escape if things went south. He's now trapped here in Zargon, but just in case he does try and make his way back into the city un unnoticed, I would cl I would try to find a way to shut down this portal for good. We will see what we can do. That is more okay. the area of the mages than myself. Might also probably mm. garner some favor with the Empress to know that such a, a potentially dangerous back door has been dealt with. Persuasion. I'm not. I'm not trying to persuade him to do anything. I'm just saying that's a that's an idea. I know persuasion though. Either way. Can I give her the help action? Sure. Or you can roll your own. Okay. I have a plus five to it. So. Yeah. I don't know what yours is. Yeah, mine's a plus, plus six. five. Oh, is, is it? Plus six? Yeah, it's plus six. Oh, you might have to oh yeah. Never mind. Again. Uh. It, as as my fan omen said, it would be an idea. In there needs to be no more death in this place. Persuasion. It is an idea, but it is one to be taken with caution. Empress Ornington is a woman known to overcorrect any vulnerabilities. That is for the king to decide, for I'm no, no, for I'm not a politician. However, if I were to hazard a guess, either she would be grateful, or she may see this as a sign of pre, a preeminent invasion. It could be either at this point. We do not know. Wellington might have had it here for an escape. Were he to gain more power, it would have been an excellent backdoor into the Oriented territory. Yeah. Exactly. So frame it as well. It was well. Obviously, it's Wellington's idea, so you can frame it as such. That he, I will. He, if he was, if he was, if anyone was going to be, it would have been him. I will tell the information as you told it to my king, and from there it will be his decision. But for um, now, get rest. You all look beaten up and exhausted. Agreed. I'm out of here. As he just walks away. There's also some accounts you need to be aware of. When, when, when the charges were first placed on Ethan, Wellington asked me to stay behind to chat. He wanted to use me as a spy on uh, my party. Well, immoral. Nothing about that is particularly illegal. As much as... Yeah, fortunate. But... There might have been more to it than just that. I, I was never quite sure. I flatly refused his offer. Then you are a moral person now. Like I said, you all look hurt. Whatever this fool of a Quintia is, it seems to have roughed you all up. Get some rest. You have all earned it. Come okay. on, little one. We shall see if we can what we can do for you. He takes uh, Hinoshikita and uh, 
begins to head to the guard station while the rest of the guards continue their investigation. Where do you guys go? To the nearest inn to collapse. Okay, I... the nearest inn. Why don't Why don't we just Why don't we just go to the uh to to the the house place that uh vagabond. Uh, yeah, the, yeah the yeah the vagabond the house of the lost and found. Yeah, let's go to that collapse. Oh, okay, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll okay I'll put this away then. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. Oh, I forgot about that place, that's all. <laughs> Alright, you guys get a long rest uh, in there. Yay! Alright, the day is yours. Would you guys like to do some downtime? Or would you guys... Yeah. Okay. I think we should. Alright, we're going to start with Roderick. What would you like to do? Um... I don't think Roderick would do anything, really. I mean, he's this got everything your... he needs. This is your only day of downtime, so... I mean... Um. No, I don't think I ha I don't have anything that comes to mind really. I'll come back to you just in case, just to be fair. Yeah, just in case I hear something that I'm like, oh, I'll do that. All right, Lipia, what would you like to do? I'd like to go to a temple of corn to begin with. Core. Yeah, core. Okay, the temple of core in this city, if I remember correctly, from my notes. Uh, the Raven Queen is in the core, correct? Uh, yes, from what you have heard. Yeah, okay. Just gonna say that it's highly likely she would run into Alicia, because Alicia would be going there too. Yeah. Alright, then. I don't want to butt in, I'm just saying that. No, 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 no. Uh, well, it saves okay, time. It okay. saves time. You, yeah, you two, like, leave time. for the same place. You guys realize you're heading in the same direction. Hey, Omen. Yes. I'm uh, sorry I freaked out before. It's okay. Things happen. Those were my people. And they were kids in the summer. Uh, Omen, roll me a history check. It was the DC-10 because this was such a big event that word of mouth traveled so far even to your area. Mm, okay. Wow! Oh, oh Jesus I... Christ! We will- I will pitch in for a new mic for you, okay? I will pitch in too! <laughs> Me too! I'll do anything at this point! No, this isn't All just- right. This isn't because of I feel my ears, this is because I know you feel bad, Fury. What? Anyways, Fury. Oh. Okay, ow. I don't know what's actually wrong with it, so. Yeah, well, either way, I will pitch in just because I don't want you to feel bad about this. Anyways. Uh, the genocide on Shao Tan, like the slave, the slave trade of Shao Tan is widely known across this world's history. You know the, like the, you know, like the Cliff Notes version of it, of how this people was, were enslaved, they were, you know, meant to be made to be lesser, how it lasted for years, how it nearly broke the spirit of the Henjokai. It is a well documented event. Can't say. Which actually strikes you as odd because Wellington, if he is a member of the Assembly of Iron, or at least his family was, killed the kids. He didn't try to enslave them. It does strike me as odd with the ancient ways of the assembly of iron they were enslaved yeah. not killed and also yeah. while i was never officially referred to as a slave i am not unfamiliar to the grim egotist or thinking that i had done this i understand what you mean i know what you mean it's it's weird i i thought he would have enslaved them not off them and turn them into trophies. She, Olympia, uh, is literally growling almost. Oh, and puts her arm around you. It's okay. We'll bring into justice. Damn right. Now, yeah. if it would help you make peace, maybe you can, if you're heading to the clergy like I am, maybe you can pray for them. What's the plan? 
All right, you guys arrive at the clergy. It's not anything fancy. As per tradition, all core clergies do not have any grand decorations, no stained glass. It's rather very simple, a building made of stone. A big, a big temple, but, you know, it's just, it's cleaned uh, enough. It's not like, like, it's not like designed for, uh, it's not designed to be, like, presentable. It's designed to show reality as it is. This makes sense. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in there, you see some people praying. An older woman looks to be about half elf, so you know she's probably over well over hundred her hundreds. And you see in the center, also in Neil, but in ro holy black robes, a drow male looks to be in his mid thirties physically. I mean, uh, would uh make you know make a small bow to him out of respect, and then head to one of the- I assume they have pews or something. Yes. Yeah, Olympia would bow and, pews and uh, find a pew of her own. Alright. What yeah. do you two respectively pray about? Ooh. Olympia would um, pray to the Raven Queen that uh, the souls of the deceased children of the Hanjiokai are somewhere safe and at peace. Okay. Omen, what do you pray about? Omen also prays out for the dead children. They can... Uh, uh, witching her queen and her... I don't want to call her her master, her boss, her... Her patron. Up, her patron. patron. That it would ensure them, you know, safe passage to the next life, and uh, and then after praying for the children, she would express worry over something, you know, the outright uh, reg you know, rejection, shall we say, refusal of a certain party member to even listen to her. He'd been stubborn before, but he'd never been this stubborn. As you finish your prayer, you hear in your head, The grave digger had more undead in the city. I can tell you where they are. Is this to Omen or to Libya? To Omen. Okay. And Omen's the only one who hears it. Please. Hmm? Please. A warehouse south of the clergy of Chlor that you are in. Can I repeat that? A warehouse south of the clergy, the south of the clergy you are in. Thank you. Please. I mean, that like, comes out of prayer and looks to Lipia, who probably finished earlier than me because I've had a longer prayer. Mm. Also, yeah. you hear one more message? I would hurry. They're becoming yeah. violent. We have. He stands out of prayer and looks to, Lip, uh, to Lipia. I don't think we're done with the undead threat here quite. God. Let's discuss it with. Let's discuss it with the party, and we should hurry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I need one of you to roll me a d100. I'll do it. Okay. Oh. Alex, just not. I'm here. Alex, said you were Higher was better. Oh boy. You know. Well, I did warn you that they were getting violence, so as you are about to uh as you guys are walking by, you hear a bong bong in a building nearby. And that might be that. Yeah. Sorry. Um Sorry. Sorry. Get our friends. Get our friends. Okay. Your friends are scattered throughout the city, so that'll take a while. You two. Uh do you wish to enter the warehouse stealthily? 
Yes. Yep. Yep. You, thankfully, you didn't roll lo lower than 20, so you could still stealth. That was, like, the threshold. So roll okay. a stealth check for me. You guys got this. For sake. No, come on. All right, please go out your rolls for me. Uh, uh, 10 and 19. I got the 19. All right. Natural. Well, keep in mind, natural ones are not auto fails. Uh, Good news, they are dumb as bricks. Well, you, enter through, you enter through a back door on the second floor of this warehouse. Let me take you two to the map. There seems to be no lighting in this warehouse of nat like natural lighting. Wow, well, luckily we're both we both have dark vision. Yeah. Yep. Uh, give me a sec. Let me add you two to the map so that way you guys have a representation. They're undead, so they don't have the best wisdom. So good news there. Hey, that dumb as fuck. Dumb as a box of rocks. All right, here you guys are. You guys see this. Ooh, as, you, as you guys enter, beefy. you see two zombie ogres. You recognize one of, like, you recognize the physique from the one you fought in the sewers, and one of them's banging on the door. The other one is searching these crates for anything. I could have sworn we killed that 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 zombie ogre. You did yeah, kill that there's one. There's more. There's more. More. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Yeah, uses, uh, psychic whispers on um omen. Here we go. This is bad. This is extremely bad. We need to stall for time. Yeah. How long it'll take Sai. We need to at least play, we need to at least give them the run around. Yeah. So I'm going to because we haven't got their uh, attention yet, I'm going to use first of all May Drama. Because I do not want to fight this without my drama. Well, no so, does that require vocal? Does that require vocal or uh, somatic components? Uh, requires all of them. Make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> nice. Right there. You're fine. You cast it subtly. You're just like ah, so, 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 so. yeah. So my drama. I got my drama up, and then I'll summon my. <laughs> What'd you say? Once Mage Armor's up, then I'll summon my pack blade. Okay, you do so. That one does not make noise. Lippia, are there any preps you're gonna do? I'm gonna summon my psychic daggers. Okay. Would you guys like to approach stealthily? Yes. Roll yeah. stealth checks for me. Doo -doo. Nice. Oh, that's better. Nice. Advantage. You guys managed to get up like really close to them with these checks. <laughs> right like, you can get into melee with this big one over here that's searching if you want. Uh, well, <laughs> basically, you would get a surprise round. We still have a connection, don't we? Yeah. So, Omen counts down in her mind for us to attack together. Alright, uh, roll initiative, just to see who goes first between the two of you. Right. That would be... That'd be me. Omen. Would indeed. Okay. Omen, you are going first. So, uh, stabby stab, 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 stab. Roll ahead. Advantage. Thank fuck for advantage. Because remember, you are self, so you are yeah. first. 25, nice. that hits. Five piercing, a second attack, because I have thirsting blade at this point. Yep. I'm aware. <laughs> 17 hits. Six piercing. Okay. Good to know. Olympia, it's your turn. Stabby stabby. All right. Make yep. sure you get melee yep. with them. Remember, by the way, update your tokens so like you are accurate on the map because. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because like you know, I can't. I have to assume because you know you guys have to be in certain range and everything. Anyways, go yep. ahead. Uh, with advantage, as a reminder. Oh! oh so you're going to double your... Okay. 19, 28, 32 oh. points of damage. Not bad. Now that's a lot of damage. And then go to the other. 15 hits. Okay. No sneak on this one, but... Uh, 11. Well, 25, because it was a surprise round. 
Mm -hmm. My new point because it still hits. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Six. Well, three because offhand, but three. Well, actually, that one's kind of a weird roll. But anyways, all right. It looks hurt, but it is still up. The R one turns. Guy. <laughs> Oops, I did not select it. Sounds getting real low. <laughs> Okay, 11, and I'll count this one as the 3, so I'll fix that. Alright, Alright. Uh, Oban, it is your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna do some slash, some more stabby stabs. Okay. 23. Not three more, but whatevs. Let's go here. 12 yep. piercing for that one, and then just like... Continue my stabbing assault. Ooh. Come on! That hits. Much better rolls than tyranny. Right. Right. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Alright, it's still up. I have, let me just check something. I don't have that yet. Okay. Alright, it's the ogre's turn. Yep. He's gonna run up. <laughs> it's gonna try to hit you, Omen. Okay. That's a 21 to hit you. That hits. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. I don't have shield anyway, so. Yep, Melgosa is for that character. Yep. Melgosa. No, I might take a peek to pick it up. Because it's a really good spell. 14 points of bludgeoning damage as it just hits you across the face. <laughs> Lippia, it's your turn. Alright, I'm the stabby stabby again. The one who's already been hurt. Yep. All right, 25 hits. You yep, have an eye within five feet of you, so you do get your sneak. That's All right, good. 19. 13. That hits. Okay. All right. Six. I need a roll check for it. Oh, oh that's right. I'm dying. Yeah, yep. All right. It is still up, even though you've done a lethal blow, but you're like, oh, fuck this thing again. Yeah. It's oh, cool. shit. All right, it's its turn. It's going to hit you, Lipia. All right. That is a 22 to hit you. Yeah, that hits. I don't want to metagame, but I'm not sure if you know about Uncanny Dodge. I do. That's well, more you're backseat gonna... gaming, but... Yeah. All right, you're going to take... Ooh, that's actually bad. Yeah. 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Cut down half to 9 if you want Uncanny Dodge. Okay. All right, you take 9 damage. Nine! Omen, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to do more stabbing because that's what Omen's good at. Mm -hmm. Against the injured one. What is your passive perceptions, by the way? My passive perception? Uh, Sai is on my shoulder, so it is... Sai is not on your shoulder. Oh, good no, point, it's so not. 12. Uh, 15. Okay, you guys will notice this. Uh, don't uh, or do? Don't. You don't. Don't worry oh, about it. Oh, shit. It don't worry about it. it. 15 hits. Oh, yes, that hits. Roll damage. Uh, well, it's at one health, so. Well, yeah, but this turns to DC. Yeah. Alright, you did. Call this out. Ten? Ten. Okay. I'm going to make it saving throw. I say that so yeah. enthusiastically. Alright, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, it's a DC 15. Passes. Stab it again. All right, roll the hit. Ooh. Nice. Misses. misses. Actually, no hits. That actually hits. Oh, there it is. Oh, Remember, right, they, they have eight AC. All right, this is a DC ten. They're naked. They pass. <laughs> spiritual weapon. Okay. <laughs> I want these things dead so we don't get hit again. Again, it's easier for me to draw a sword than it is to draw a raven. Even no, it's fine, dude. It's fine. We know. We know. Fear of the mind, man. <laughs> All right, roll the hit. Saw twenty hits. Nine four. DC fourteen. It matches. Uh, ooh. All righty then. It is now the ogre's turn. It's gonna hit you again. Yeah, probably right. That is an eighteen to hit you. That hits. 
Alrighty, you are going to take... 12 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Tough little bugger. <laughs> I, that, yeah. <laughs> Lippy, it's your turn. Suck it blades again. Alright, stab on, it. Queen, we need your help here. And hits. 17. Alright, DC 22. Fails! Yeah! Finally. Yeah! Well, yeah, it only had, look, it only has so high of a con. I had to roll really high. I did this time. So as you do so, you stab it into its skull, and this time it just its jaws is agape, drops off its body, and it falls over dead. That was your action. Nice. You bonus action. Yep, I'm going to. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to do. Uh, cunning action of disengage. All right. And I'm going to move five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. And. Technically, range at one point, so. Oh, she sure. left a threat. To the squ she left yep. a threat I know, but she disengaged. She did disengage. So. Exactly. Yep. Yep. They disengaged with good. Alright. Is that all? Um, I've still got my bonus action, right? No, you had a bonus yeah. action to disengage. Okay, then, uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, Omen, it is your turn. I'm trying uh, to get flanking on this thing, so fair we enough. Can attack. I will move to get flanking as well as move a spiritual weapon. Okay. More stabs because stabs are good. Go. You do have a mask because I was focused on Lipia last time. Well, I'll roll to see yeah. if I crit. Nope. Twenty-two hits though. Eight piercing. Eight piercing. Not bad. Second attack. Twenty-five. Uh, that okay. hits. Eight. More, eight more piercing, and then burn action spiritual weapon. Twenty-one hit. Okay. Eleven force damage. So Obin is just stabbing the best of them right now. <laughs> it's gonna hit you, Lipia. Come on, is this all you've got? That's a natural twenty, Lipia. Yeah. Uh, Ow. Uh, yeah. Uncanny dodge. You're gonna need it. Eleven. Twenty. For 28 points of damage, cut down in half to 14. That's still a lot of damage. My turn? Yes, it is. Okay, suck it, Blades. Unfortunately, you don't get advantage because it's focused on you. Fine, 22. That hits, but you don't get your... Oh, yeah, there is another alley within melee, so... Yeah, there's still... 14. 14. 14. 18. Okay, and um, 7. Yeah. All right, still up. Oh man, it's your turn. Hey, pea brain. Focus. Like you focus on the real. As threat. you say that, you hear. I called you here because I thought you were skilled. Was I mistaken? As you see, this person, all black robes, they are hooded. You can't even see their face. Who the? F Never mind. Who the? F you recognize the voice from your head. Uh, deal with you in a minute. I'm gonna stab the ogre some more. You go. <gasps> oh no! Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 I don't like him. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. In game, <laughs> Owen does not know who this is. Yeah. Okay, we all know who this is. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Lipia forgot about it. She forgot all about it. So even Lipia doesn't know who this is. Well, still stab. I've got to roll the advantage again, motherfucker. Oh, and he rolled a two. Fuck! Well, at least he rolled a natural one. You're assuming he's fighting He's got, he got a plus four in dex, bud. It's... Yeah, yeah that, not, yep. All right. Cool. You're assuming is that he's he fighting them. That's an is assumption you're making. Yeah. Is it yeah, Hugo we're... also a vampire? Yes. Yeah, we're assuming 22. he's... Yes, but you don't know that in-game. Well. Anyways, we uh, 22 hits, know. obviously. Roll damage. <laughs> Nine. In game, you guys don't know shit. We're all just. I believe. All right. I'm in good tell you guys he's a vampire. Guy making death yeah. yeah, he did, but. Mm -hmm. I, let's hope that. Oh, for the spiritual weapon. That hits. Oh, God. If Armin oh. shows up. Okay. Is this guy right. making saves yet? Nope. It's out. It's turned. It's going to hit you. 
me? Yep, that's a 22 to hit you. That hit. Stop touching me. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Come on, you hit me even weaker than the last one. Livia, it's your turn. Wait. That hits. Okay, second attack. Just hits. Still not making saves yet. Come on. They got a live HP, dude. It's now Hugo's turn. Take it's care of me, will you? He lifts up his finger. Right. You watch as this green, like, ray springs from his finger as it targets the creature. I mean, Rayum, if, if you no, can... I know what this says. It's, it's pain. It fails its deck save. You watch as it hits it and it turns to dust. Disintegrate. Called it. Yep. What the hell? Um. Combat's over. Uh, uh, I we should be thanking you. We had yes. the situation under control. Oh. Of course you did. Of course. He floats down to here. First meetings usually warrant an introduction. Hmm. Who are you, then? I'm known by many names. You just call me Omen. Pretentious. <laughs> He's in view with this guy. Roll me a perception. Okay. By the way, to describe this figure, he's in all black robes, like almost like like a dress thing with like black rope at the end of it, with nope. boots below. He has nope. like armored gauntlets with nope. with a hood over his face. His skin is deathly pale, almost as if there's no blood in it, and you can't see the color of his eyes, but. He's hiding them within the hood, but they're, but his skin is ungodly pale. He stands a good six feet two. Six Ooh, foot big two. Boy. And now I'm in a six. We don't know this shit. Again, you notice He's... the skin. The skin is very pale. That's pretty obvious. He a big boy. Awful pale. Don't get a lot of sun. If we are going my titles, then you may call me Old Lord. On a name I'm familiar with, with that. Boy, boy, boy. My friend makes it. My friend here just made an uh, interesting comment. You look like the skin's as white as the snow. You're afraid of the sun. I have not felt the sun's embrace in a long time. It's been long, long ago, long ago. Can I roll like a nature to see if Omen can put two yes. together? Please, Omen, but... Nope. Uh, uh Lippia, you can roll too. Okay. Oh, actually, you, you know what? I will give you advantage, Omen, because of the history of El Quintia. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Hey. 17. Based on his skin, the fact that he does not, has been centuries, no sunlight, reasonable guess is vampire. Oh, You're a vampire, aren't you? Apologies, but I prefer, if it's all the same to you, I prefer my blood still in my neck. Vampires. Vampires are a thing I detest more than anything. Oh. That's interesting. I assume Owen wants to insight the hell out of it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, for oh, Yeah. Sec. No, I don't trust this guy. He is telling the truth. Oh. Lippia, he lying. He fucking lying. Of course he has to love vampires. He is a vampire. He can't be trusted. <laughs> Lippia's still suspicious, but but she's like... Hmm. Okay. Omen, the scary thing here is that he is telling the truth to you. You detest yourself, then? You... I detest those who ripped me from my mother's... From my mother. Train me in their ways and turn me into this. Are you returned into a vampire against your will? Does that matter to one who serves the Raven Queen? We're not heartless people. We're not. Then you're no true servant of the Raven Queen. <laughs> 
You didn't choose to cheat death. I have chosen to cheat death in many aspects of my life. I have not chosen to become a vampire of my own volition, no. As such, I do not believe you're truly guilty in the act of cheating death by becoming a vampire would, if it was willing, draw her ire. But self-preservation is to everyone. That does not matter to most servants, Stuart. Nor to her. I am an abomination in her eyes. Is there no cure? Oh, there is one in history who has. They... They are an exception that I will never obtain. I called you here because I wanted to test this to see if you were like the others or if you were different. What is your conclusion? You are much different than every other Craven Queen servant I have met. I just don't believe someone should be the reason I worship her is many things. I don't be I don't believe someone should be damned for a choice they didn't commit. And yet that is what you would have to do in order to appease her now. Why limit yourself by serving such a cruel and narrow mistress? Death is a natural part of life, unfortunately as it is. I'm not arguing that. But if she would. People didn't, people didn't die, the world would populate, and, and everyone would die. I am not denying that. Mm. But she is too narrow in her vision. And she denies you what is rightfully yours true power. Why could you offer me the true heart? For starters, choice. For starters, how you wish to live your life, how you wish to hone your ideas, not to live in the shadow of a being who cares not for you. I have to disagree on that. Really? I care deeply. So she has helped you. She has brought, she has saved you every time you've been in danger. She has shown you the full extent of your power. She has saved me enough time for me to be grateful. Name one. That you did not do yourself. I'd never have gotten out of my village if it wasn't for her. I disagree. She helped us with a zombie beholder. She helped you with a zombie beholder. Not her. He looks back to Omen. You, de you dedicated your life to her. And when the time came, when your moment was there, she chose another. You will not sway me from my beliefs. I am not trying to sway you from your beliefs. I am telling you the truth. I am I didn't jump to conclude. I didn't jump to attack you. Curse. I don't believe be you should be damned for a choice you didn't make. And that's why but you're better than her. But try to manipulate me as you are. I am not manipulating. If you wish, put me under zone of truth. I tell no lies. What do you know of her? I know that in my moments of need, when I cling to her desperately, she did not save me. She did not help me. Just like she did not help you. He then casts a spell, not on you or anyone. And you watch as the crates, like, 
beside you begin to all lift up, like, to the right of you, to your uh, right. Like, uh, when you enter the door, it is to your left. On the map, it's to the right, based on the perception. Okay. He lifts them up. I had to do... I had to survive. I had to do a lot of unsavory things. And I did it with my own power. The second you stray away from her, the second you, re you disagree, she will take away what you have. According to you, I've already strayed from her. I mean, it went to demanding your death. But I still feel her. Because you are still conflicted about whether you want to kill me or not. You said it yourself. The second you perceived that I was manipulating you, you showed no qualms about killing me. Another vampire in their schemes, no? Do not make yourself an enemy. I am not here to make an enemy. I am here to offer you a chance, a choice. When the cars are down, when you're at your lowest, she will not help you. Your power is only a f is only gifted to her, to you by her. Real power comes from work from within, through the merits of your own survival, for what you claw out of the ashes. As he walks past, he mentions one particular word. She's he, a smirk crosses her lips, but she but she doesn't he doesn't hear see. And he feels a tap on his shoulder, not aggressive, just a tap. He does not turn. Then the thing closes around his shoulder, and he can see in the corner of his eyes the black ethereal tablet of Ravenclaw. She did give me this. Did she? Or, did you, or is that always within you? Remember, I never said... Like, I never confirmed it was Raven Queen in your head. That's I just said you believed it was. I know. It has, it's playing to that belief. Yep. Really? So she, she came to you. You saw her. You didn't hear her voice? I am saying it is yours. That right there is your power. No one else's. It takes the form of what you hold dear. Were you to believe in the god of war, I am sure it would take the image of something far more sharper. The difference, Omen. Is that whereas she is nothing without followers like you, you are everything, with or without her. You need not make the decision now. You may not. You need not have to conflict. I simply came to make introductions. But harness your power. Claim it as your own. No one else is. It is yours. Or however you seek to use it. <laughs> With that, you begin to watch as he uh, begins to cast the spell again. I'm not going to attempt to stop him. He teleports away. <laughs> that was weird. The worst part about this is that I'm going to let your natural 20 stand. He did not lie that entire time you were there. Now, obviously, there's a connection of what he believes versus what you believe in terms of power, but he wasn't lying. He chooses his words carefully. To be calm. To be honest, Omen, if I may. And... And, um, I'm not gonna... M I don't think this counts as meta gaming to, uh, for me. If um, if 
um if um if I said he seems familiar to Lipia but she can't remember where? Uh no, it's like the weirdest case of deja vu. Yeah. But like you're not sure exactly where. It could have been yesterday, it could have been ten years ago, you do not know. To be honest, Omen, he gave me a weird vibe. Like I've seen him before. So I can't remember where. One thing's for certain. Despite his claim, she has help. And even helping you would have killed after all. Yeah. Therefore, she helped me indirectly. To help mm. him. Yeah, she helped us both. Alright. Um, I'm on a path and I'm following it. All right. Uh, with that, Anya, what do you wish to do with your downtime? Anya. No. No. Okay, the puppy wants to play. Hmm. All right. In that All right. case, Armin, what do you do with your downtime? Uh, a couple things. One, uh, gonna go to uh the. I'm gonna take those steel shipments that we got. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them to the all right lizard. Give them to Allie. Thomas so badly. All right. Give me a sec. I believe it was a lizard boat, correct? Yes. He, all right. It was a gator. The right. gator. Thank you very much. I would advise that you keep caution. The Bross Collective has not been defeated completely. Well, they only target my shipments, so all I can do is hire X6 security. Speaking of which, I do believe I promised you a proper reward. He puts a he puts a hand up. Before you continue, how what is the sturdiness of that breastplate you offer, Mastercraft? <laughs> he thinks about it for a second. He goes, "One sec, give me a sec before I." Continue here. Are druids proficient with medium armor? They cannot wear metal. No, they can't. Selica might be an exception, but I don't believe that she which is. is why, which is why I was thinking about that. I was like, I know druids normally don't wear metal, but is but is Selica an exception in this case? Uh, I would argue she is, but she isn't proficient with it to begin with, I don't believe, because I don't think there is any, you know, like there's rarely any natural medium armor. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, at least also out of game is this plus one breastplate because that matches yes. the AC I have of my studded leather. Yes, it is plus one breastplate. He looked. He stopped and he goes, "How about for now? You just say you owe me a favor." Right. All right then. Yeah, and he just uh, he says, "Don't forget, because I won't." I and he don't know. Know. He leaves. Uh, uh, I'm gonna roll two. At this point, oh. okay, go ahead. Because I was gonna have just like Anya help him a little bit with his with his rage with tr controlling his rage. This will take uh, up most of your day. Fair enough. Twenty three. You're getting better. Good. Thanks. And, and another one to, for Roger to help him with his cooking, if that's possible. Oh, another wisdom. Oh. You could do it. Thanks. Yeah, there's the trade-off. Uh, you think, you think about. Uh, so you're worried about overcooking. I feel like that's such a that's a big thing. Yes, mm. yes it is. That's a very common thing with me as well. I very very much worry about overcooking so, food. So, because of that, you kind of undercook it. Ah, fuck. Um, it could have got a little bit longer. Yeah, I see that. And unlike, you know, traditional things, you can't really put it back in the oven, so to speak, so it's no. kind of stuck like this. What, what were you trying to cook? That's my uh, my question, because I wanted... Or, or, what? Here, here, would it... Would it... Cause he's in the 
Probably the same. Like, probably like a basic, which is like, which is like bread, like just the just the basic of basics at the start, because he's not a great cook himself. Like, can can Roderick try and fix it up for him? Go ahead, cook utensils. Check. Add your and... uh, wisdom. You actually, if if it's inside the cottage, are we in the cottage with this? Yeah, we uh, would you, be. Well, no, 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 no. You're in the city, so no. Yeah. Never mind, because if yep, it's in the cottage and you're using those utensils, gone. you get advantage. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try and fix it up for him. Alright. So, con yep. constitution? 20. You fix it. It's, it's good bread. Good bread. Alright. You almost had it. It, it, it. You're getting there. Thanks. Anya. Uh, I don't think there's really much I could do. Is there anyone you want to talk to? Any like anything like that? Um, not really. I don't think I need to talk to anybody. Just playing with Brooke, I assume. Yeah, just just be with Brooke. Maybe wander the town a little bit. You know, All right, roll D one hundred. Roll D one hundred for town watering thing. Doing dog dog thing. Right. Doing doggo things. Again, D one hundred for the town. D hundred. Ooh, this is a fun one. Oh no. oh no. You bump into someone? You they it seems like they weren't paying attention. Oh, sorry. You notice that uh they all have purple hair. Like furless. No pointed ears, but purple hair. Purple eyes as well. Her head tilts, uh, he smells weird on you. <laughs> She's just sniffing him. Oh, a little fucking... How lovely. Yep. He speaks this sniff? in Sylvan, by the way. Flawless Sylvan. <laughs> oh! You. you smell funny. Not bad way. I certainly would hope not. I just researched um, a cure for how bad I smell. Well, you definitely do not smell bad. Well, that's good. It, it, it means it worked. Okay. It's just, I don't know. Does it smell magical, like minty? Yes, very minty. Like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jeez, minty. <laughs> minty. <laughs> minty, minty. Well, uh, I guess introductions in their order, if you've got to smell me. I am Tevoris. A pleasure, Miss... Anya. Miss Anya. Tervoris. Ter... Can you spell that for me, T-E-R-V-O-R-R-I-S. Tervoris. 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 Tervoris, yes. A pleasure. Where are you from? I have traveled so long, I doubt it is even named the same anymore. Oh? I suppose I could say I'm from over there or there, but the truth is... I do not consider it ever home. Just like I would. Since Precisely. I since the pack is always moving. Yeah. Well, I do not travel in a pack. I am quite alone. <laughs> Why? Desperately alone. Companionship is so somewhat hard for a person of my disposition. Why do you say that? Ah, <sighs> well... You look like regular furless. Ah. <sighs> like making friends. Oh, I do enjoy a good conversation. I do enjoy learning, but friends is a difficult thing for what I am. However, I do try to remember who I interact with. Anya. I will remember that name. Good day to you. Good day. Alright. At this point, Anya, Sai finds you. Good day. Sai? Yes, the bird. <laughs> God, <Sai. sighs> I assume it goes back to where you guys are, Omen and Lipia. Yeah. Yeah. All Does right. She run. All right. As you do, you see Omen and Lipia looking a little hurt, walking out of the warehouse. 
What happened? Uh, undead ogres. Please. Yeah. Um, Someone dead. She kind of just like she she sniffs both of you just in case you're like affected with anything, and she's fine. They smell normal. She's she's worried about you guys. Other mother hen. Fine, Anya. We're fine. We're fine. Honestly. We met a vampire. <laughs> Anya sits there, looks at you, head tilt. Uh, I'm rolling nature check with disadvantage to see if you know what this is. <laughs> I should not know what a vampire. That's why it's disadvantage. But eight. Uh, who's a what's it? Though. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? Who knows? Okay. Weird furless term. That's and she tilts her head to the side like what? Confused puffer face. Confused puffer face. What? We'll explain, when we're, we'll explain when we're back with the the pack. Yeah. Everyone else needs to know too. All right. Yeah. Okay. You guys make your way back to the vagabond's place, like you know, shelter, and uh, you guys can discuss this. Yep. Does anyone else have downtime to do? Just okay. Roderick, but. Uh, I I I I want to talk with uh, Armin while we were while we were All right, cooking. So while they're heading back, continue to talk. Go ahead. Uh, Armin. What? I uh I have a question for you. If it's if it's not too intrusive. And like he was cutting veggies and he like paused for a second. He goes, "Well, that depends on your definition of intrusive." But go ahead as he goes back to cutting. Um, what were your parents like? Or oh, well. What was your life like before? You, you know, he's kind of kind of looks down. He's like, he's like, he's kind of like, I don't know why I'm asking this, but eh. after you say that, poosh, he slams the knife down on the cutting board so hard he almost fucking cuts it in half. Well, congratulations, you just ruined the fucking knife. He doesn't care. You think he gives a shit? No, late. Good to you. What are Kneeves? Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, he's he's like sitting there for a sec, just like it's almost like the air itself just goes silent for a sec. But he sighs and he goes, "Hey, what kind? Even though we had little, they wore a smile even in the hardest times. They were happy." Where I'm from, our farm was small, and most of what we had was taken by the by the nobles of Orrington. We couldn't say no. It was a struggle, but it didn't matter to them. I could see that they st they struggled to get us by, but they were happy nonetheless. He pauses for a sec. And when I saw, I was afraid of hearing that monster in my head over and over again. They didn't hesitate to try and help me. A tear, single tear streams from his eye as he tilts his head down. You never truly get over losing the ones you care about. It just stays there silent. Roger kind of takes a breath and looks over parents always try to protect and shield their children from the struggles of life my father was a brave hunter warrior of a clan so yep. real quick just for uh, purposes here the goliaths like their whole mentality is that they don't hide the hardness but they teach teach you how to deal with it it's like a yeah the world sucks but yeah it's either you lie down and die or you fucking fight back yeah uh, <laughs> caught me off track. Sorry. Uh, uh, but he, but he was sent off and never saw him again. My mother, beautiful Goliath. I mean, top dollar. Uh, well, till she caught me sneaking treats. Then it was kind of gave a gave a shiver and then. It's his tone changes, like he becomes angry. But then when Igak betrayed us, 
Someone I thought I knew. Everything was gone. I was shamed, and my mother... She tried to help, but... He kind of is, like, clutching, like, his fist around the knife that he had, just squeezing. <clears throat> Before, suddenly, he kind of, like, breaks the handle. He's like, oh, shit. As he turns to kind of, like, try and hide it. So, so, so the so uh, the vagabond doesn't notice that he has a broken. The vagabond's knife. too busy feeding people down below. Yeah. He, he he speaks softly. Just, I went into that fortress with you because you are my family now. You are all I have left in this world, and I may you may hate me for what I did, but I did it because I could not bear to lose another. There a momentary pause before Armin says you you didn't want to leave us behind i get it i think i know more than most he turns towards you i know about the true loyalty of goliaths their passion for other members of their clan but next time better to leave and plan to reclaim your captured allies than go rushing in and get captured yourself. You can't do anything if you're stuck in a cage with us. And he takes a second and he goes, and for what it's worth, thanks for caring about us enough to come do something like that for us. Of course. <laughs> know this. Loyalty to a weak man is worth less than a copper coin to the rich king. He kind of walks over, placing a hand on his shoulder. We will break our burdens one day. Brother. He just bought, he just stops for a sec. Sighs again. Brothers. Roger. Roger will hold out his arm for like that kind of macho man. You like, son of a grab, bitch. Grab, grab, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean like like forearm grabbing kind yeah, of. Again, like, that's what it is. Like yeah. the Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, you, predator. You son of a bitch. Yes. He just grab. He just grabs your grabs your forearm. That handshake. And you as, guys as walk it, in as that happens. Uh, are we? Waiting? <laughs> Um, are we witnessing a bromance or something? Armin, Armin let's go. Uh, what? What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. You were... oh, Armin. You weren't messing around without me, were you? Oh. <laughs> Alicia, Alicia, wait, wait. Alicia, um... <laughs> um, Omen, uh, uh, Armin baked you this, and he'll kind of slide the, 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 the the bread that he fixed and kind of slid it closer to here. He, he made this. He made um, this. He yeah, this. Armin, just, Armin just kind of like... Deception just, like, with <laughs> advantage because it's technically not a lie, but it's not the I, full truth either. Well, I already have uh, advantage. Armin, so. Armin do, if, even if he didn't, Armin just kind of turns his head, almost blushing a little bit because he was making it for I rolled really badly, so you're probably going to get this. Roll story. deception with advantage, Roderick. Twenty-one. I already have advantage. Well, I, I would technically already have advantage thanks to the rune card. Well, either way, I'm yeah, gonna roll way. it of the. It's not technically a lie. It's a lie within a. Tr it's a truth within a lie. Yeah. Sort of a deal. You're you're not wrong. Well, fuck you, smartass. But also, yes. <laughs> yep. You guys believe that Armin made this? Uh, oh wow! Troy, this is Troy, really awesome, How Armin. How sweet of you. Yeah. He like he like just, he's still got his head turned to the side. He like closes his eyes and clenches teeth. Whatever. Maybe I, will, maybe I won't have to. Punch you. <laughs> oh God. Anyways. Oh my God. Uh, you guys can discuss <laughs> what had happened way. today. Yeah. Even with the mask uh, on, I mean, you can tell that she's not actually angry. With she doesn't believe I, you were Roderick but up to anything. You can tell she's just playing. I figured. I figured at the at the same time he's more he's more just kind of embarrassed. <laughs> Anyway, oh God, um, he's an adult. Please help. <laughs> he is an adult, and so are we. 
Keep going. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Um, anyway, um, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. something happened while Omen and I went to the clergy. What? What happened? Well, I got a voice in my head that I believed was from my deity and directed us to a warehouse south, which apparently had more of the grave diggers undead in it. Inside were two zombie ogres, which we took care of, admittedly. You notice you notice at this point that uh, the way Omen's holding her side, she's like slightly bruised up. She's missing over half eight points. Armin, puts, 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 yeah. Armin puts a large majority of his of his spell slots that he has left into into cure wounds for you. So let me just roll those real quick. I'll do two, well, you, two first levels and a second level. Lippia's also hurt as you start fawning over me. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I could do that for Lippia. Ignore those. I will, I will, do do <laughs> yeah, R oh, Roderick um, will gently place a hand on Lippia and cast uh, cure wounds at first level. 19 for you, Omen. Thank you, Q, Roderick. That's very kind. Uh, where, where is it? I can't find Yeah, I can't find it. Makes me feel it should be under your spell list. Yeah, it, I, I, yeah it just... I can't... Uh, yeah, 1D it, plus my spellcasting modifier... As also, we after, after he after he saw that you were hurt, by the way, like his like his little blushing face goes away, and he gets more serious, and then he just looks at you, and then he cure wounds you. Also, by the way, keep, 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 keep. the vampire never gave you his name. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. going to that. We know. We know. We, although we had the situation well in hand, a black you gave robe, four back, Lipia. A black you. robed figure then showed up, um, proceeded to, well, for lack of a better term, vaporize the other ogre. And claimed he brought us here to test us. He yeah. gave him, he introduced himself as the old lord. From what I can gather, he's more than likely a vampire. That wouldn't have happened to have been an alias that Armin would have heard of. History about, Jack. You know. <laughs> Ugh, no, probably not. You never pay attention to that sort of thing. You were a kid, and then by the time you're old enough to pay attention to that sort of thing, you were on the run outside of Warrington. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's something else I think I should mention. What? I feel like I've seen him before. Can't say that. Can't say it struck me that way. Mm. And he said um, about trying to manipulate me, claiming he was a former servant of the Queen, or at least he. He seemed to. Uh, Imply that he had he had previous working as she had abandoned him at his lowest when he was turned into a vampire against his will. See, he was turned. Turn. Hmm. And turned then vampire form claimed to be a former follower of the Raven Queen. Again, with that history check, you don't know much about Hugo. You just know the name because it's you know. No. Would I know this? Any of those no. Stories? History check. Disadvantage. You are new to this land, and you have not. And you have never been to Orton. It would have had to be word by mouth. Yeah, fair enough. Even with your connection to the Silent Death, still disadvantage. Hmm. I would say I would roll, but I don't think I'm going to be able to help either. You might just because you're from Utha, but even then, it would still be a high DC. Oh damn! Fifteen. I mean. Uh, yep. the Silent Death, maybe, like, you heard a rumor that the Silent Death years ago did give uh, supplies to a vampire, but that was years ago, well before your time. Eh, fuck it, I'll give the, it a shot. The only thing I've heard when it comes to a vampire <laughs> is, nope. um, Just here. Uh, is uh, when the Silent Death uh, gave supplies to a vampire, but it was long before my time. There's only one vampire that we that we know is here in Zargon, and that is the Pale Widow. But you said you this was a male? Definitely. Yes. Male. Although that being said, we can't rule out that the Pale Widow might just be an alias. It's a possibility. But, Did we run into the Pale Widow at one point? Never. No. No, we've never ran never into not. the Pale Widow. Nope. 
his voice sounded similar too. Again, I feel like I've met this guy before, but I don't remember where. You said he cast a spell that vaporized that that ogre. Correct. Yeah. It's a bolt of green light. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I it's, wouldn't know that that's a disintegration spell. You're a ranger. I... There's absolutely no way you know what that is. Arcana, um, just because you were in Orienton. Eight. <laughs> no. Wizards, am I right? Right, me. Wizards, no, just kidding. No. I, I was like, yeah, I don't know. But we know he cast spells. Indeed, that much was obvious. He also seemed to have a mass free. He also seemed to either be casting a spell of flight or could just fly at will, despite his lack of wings. Could be. There is a lot of things we don't know about about the vampiric. The problem is we don't know we don't know how many vampires are are here in or in Zog, and we don't know how many are still around. Although I assume Anya is looking at us the entire time with puppy look. Anya, Anya just, Anya just decided to like sit in a corner with Brooke, and she just be staring. Like I don't she know what the you. hell's going on. He, he looks at, he looks. Armin, Armin turns his head towards you. Anya sees you're confused. Vampire, powerful but bad spirit. Okay. And she just <laughs> lays her head back down on the floor. Bad spirit that drinks blood to survive. To try and explain, like, they are. Know. Yes, they yeah. are. Yes. They, they are a person that is, they are a creature that is trapped between the worlds of life and death and must drink the blood of others to survive. Remember how we fought reanimated skeletons and zombies? Yeah, they the dead that are The dead that are not dead. A vampire is similar. So a, a lot more intelligent. Is furless mosquito also lipia yes. and yeah. army you guys know about the mountain thing you guys have not know about the mountain yet yeah. that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna say we'll keep we'll keep an eye out especially the fact that he's possibly still here in julatin yes i mean well everyone okay lipia omen roll arcana to see if you know what he did when he when he went away uh, he teleported, Lipia. Armin, Omen, Tell or Lipia, Omen, she he teleported. He could theoretically be anywhere in the world. He didn't disappear with a teleportation spell. He could so literally he could be, be anywhere. Anywhere. anywhere that he's familiar with, if I recall. I don't remember much about that spell. Or associated objects, something like that. Either way, he theoretically could be anywhere yeah. in the world. So, you know, you're looking for a, a needle... A needle in probably the world's largest haystack. No, yeah. just the world. You're just looking for a signal mm -hmm. in the entire world where there's a bunch yeah. of needles. Yeah, fair enough. So, Armin, Armin, if that's the case, Armin's just like, <sighs> well. Trying to find him now would be like trying to find hay in a needle stack. Incredibly painful. Yeah. yeah. Extremely. He looks, at, he looks at Lipia. He says, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to finding about that later. For now, he like he like turns towards the the entire group and he says, "I suggest we go to the top of the mountain near Julatin." What what makes you say that? Okay, Libby, you know about this. Oh yeah, the king, oh, the king, right, told, yeah. The king I... informed us that there is a way to remove the curse on the wolf here. Ariel's grasp on her has been proven detrimental to the party. Let me roll an insight check on Armin. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> Even if I roll a natural one, yeah. I'm not going to... Actually, hang on. If you got, if all of you want to, y'all can roll a... Uh, y'all can yeah. roll a... Well, Anya, yeah, I assume I know what this is. Potentially roll with advantage. I'm gonna roll... Wait, yeah. wait. I know. Everyone, I everyone but Lipia knows. <laughs> that. Oh, Lipia. Armin, is not, Armin is not just doing it to get rid of uh, 
get rid of her curse because it's detrimental to the party. You can see that he does show some care that she has been cursed. Aww. Anya, he's showing more of the care stuff. She's gonna come over. <laughs> and she, she's like looking up at him. On all, she's on all fours and she's looking up at him. What? What? She kind of jumps up on you and starts like crawling. Ah, uh, <laughs> strength saving throw. Strength saving throw, Arvin. Strength saving <laughs> <laughs> oh god. He's a big wolf. No! <laughs> <laughs> he just drops to the ground. <laughs> She's this uh, little over 200 pound dog is literally like rolling all over you. No, no, get off of me! What are you doing? You know what? <laughs> you know what? Wagging. <laughs> She's you know what? like, oh yes. You know what? Because. Almost a slight pang of jealousy, and also because Omen's being nice and doing the kind thing. Alicia's gonna jump in there too. <laughs> Oh, dog pile! No. Yes, dog pile! Dog pile! <laughs> he just stands there like, what is going on? Alright, as this scene fades and we go to s and you all drift into an unconscious sleep, plans were saved for tomorrow. Oh man, I need you in secrets. Oh boy. <gasps> Omen. Your mind takes you to a shadowy void where there is no color. It is simply black and white. A world without light. I look around. And as you do, you see someone standing on the edge of a cliff. Raven wings behind her in a hood. Almost in like a, you know, like in an elegant dress. Do you recognize the bird mask? Like, it's similar to your own. She slowly approaches and kneels. Alicia. My lady. You felt conflicted about killing the vampire. I didn't any true malice can he truly be considered damned for something he does not choose to have happen to him he may not have chose it but none should exist between the threshold of life and death as he does is there no way to cure him none you can roll an insight on her at any point she doesn't have any reason to doubt, though. No. He spoke of an exception. A hundred and fifty years ago, a god beyond outside of my domain who gave life. What would you have me do? I know you have questions. You may ask them. He said you abandoned him. Is that true? Not in so many words. Once he was a follower of mine, but he was led astray. The hubris of others, the dealings of those outside his control, it led to him being taken. I could not do anything to save him. He spoke of the power of the claw being my own. I assumed it was a gift from you. I do not give gifts. I offer part of my power. But I do not favor. I simply go give as the roles of the of the threads dictate. It is your own. Thank you, my queen. I have much to think about. I will not abandon you. I do not believe his words. I want you to roll me insight when you say that. Holy fuck! 
You might pass this. Not with a seven. She rolled a nat one, dude. Uh, what did she roll all together? Technically a six. Oh, I actually beat her. She twitches when uh, you say the parts of the lie stuff. Like, you know, it's subtle. It is so fucking subtle. But you just barely notice it. A queen. Is there something you wish to say? The broken fragment of the weapon you found. It is not meant for you. I understand. Who is it for? Your ally, the, the Inugami. I understand. You don't fate you just said you don't favor. I act as how the threats dictate. And I exist to serve your will. So you do not question. I can't say I'm not a little disappointed, but you the needs of the many come above the needs of the one. I know you wish to be important. I cannot give you that. The same way I cannot give the vampire a new lease on life. Innocence or guilt aside, he is against the natural order. I understand. I do not ask nor say this with cold heart, but it is steel hands that must see through the through the threads to see what lies beyond. I do not promise you a happy ending. Only what the threads dictate. But if you hated on moving, I suppose. But if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, express them. What is it that you two want from me? Are you asking that? Or are you asking what I want? Like, okay, how would you phrase that again? What is it you truly want from my service? Are you asking that? Or are you asking what do you want from serving me? She stays silent for a long time. Unsure if she can even bring herself to answer that question. You want to know what your purpose is, don't you? Yes. I cannot tell you. Perhaps you are destined for greatness. Perhaps you are nothing more than a messenger, a deliverer, a courier. Perhaps somewhere in between. I cannot give you the answer you want. Can you point me in the direction to get it? I cannot. I understand. I don't believe you do. Though I am deity, I am not omniscient. I do not know all. Threads change. I cannot tell you if you have a purpose because I do not know myself if you do. 
they hear nods. Then others will have to make one. I am sorry, Alicia. I wish I could give you the answers you seek. I wish I could give you the importance you seek. But I cannot. I am many things. But I am not everything. Ermin nods. And I will find my purpose. And I know that I will always think highly of you. Even if it means you are destined for an end. You yourself say, all things come to an end. I do not fear it. When the I... day comes that I move to the afterlife, I will greet you as an old friend. I promise nothing, child. I never have. Do not elevate me to more than what I am. You will only find disappointment at the end of those expectations. You are my lady. I... What you've given me is something I could hardly ever repay. You've given me a chance at a true life. And I choose to repay that by helping you If you knew what the cost of servitude was, I wonder if you would feel different. That is not for you to debate, only for you to find out should you continue the path. And with that, the vision ends. You don't like she never turns to face you. She never like turns to face you, and the dream ends, and you awaken the next morning. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, you know she is a deity, but she ain't everything. Back to general, then. Back to general. There's <laughs> nudging you out of the way, like, now my warmth. The next morning, <laughs> you all wake okay. up, rested. God. You all can eat and discuss amongst yourselves. For for context, like, while you guys were in secrets, uh, Roderick decided to join another the dog pile there, with at least 550 pounds in total, cr almost crushing Armin. <laughs> you fall thing. Uh, and, but... then, and, then, and then we fought for the heater. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not really. <laughs> for the um, living heater. Uh, Lippia would have gone to the other side uh, just so um, Anya could have some heat. Anya would just plop yeah, on yeah. top of her. <laughs> he was literally laying there for a moment just after they got off. He was like, Yay. And then, <laughs> and then we go to bed. But in the morning, yep, Roger will leave his. Yep. Yep, Roger will get up and his still in his armor, of course. Has not taken it off. We're, I assume. I assume just all of us are in. Uh, the... I, wow. like, did yeah, because I assume that? all of us are in commoners' clothes. Roger, that armor is incredibly comfortable to sleep in. It, it makes sense. Like you, you, it feels like a pillow. Roderick, did you sleep in that? Maybe. Yeah. Huh? No. Okay. Anya walks up. Wrong here. Anya walks up. Okay. <laughs> sniffs the armor. Thing. Spells magic. Spells like mint. There's something else, but uh, that's all you can tell because unfortunately, Anya's spell is powerful. It ain't an identify spell. <laughs> Anya. Hey, that is true. Anya, after hearing like he slept with it, she's gonna chomp on like an edge and like try to tug. Stop it! Leave it alone. It's, I had it perfect. He she tries tugged. to shove her. He, athletics he's trying to get athletics. her off. Athletics versus athletics. Do not turn this. Into uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like you're you're nudging, but she's like she's stuck in there. You basically have a permanent affixture until she like goes. <laughs> Goliath, you should not be sleeping in armor. But it's so comfortable. 
Like you got the greatest rescue ever. Like it feels like clouds. I think probably six by now. You should at least take it. Yeah, get it off. Basically, did did an insight just to say like, no, there's something wrong here. Uh Roderick, saying Roderick, Lithia. I don't know what to tell you. Roderick. Whoa. Liffy is taking a bit of a dangerous tone with you at this point. Uh, he kind of doesn't meet eye contact, looks away like, uh... I... Anya still has her jaw on the lip. <laughs> try, if you want to roll it off, try roll it athletics. It's yeah. going to be a high DC, though. It's just there. Yeah. Well, she nats 20s. I mean, that'd be interesting. Bad, Watch man. that 20. Roll it. 25. <laughs> you fucking matched it! <laughs> Well, Olivia, you weren't there. You fucking matched it. As you pull, you pull the plate off. You, like, manage to get the leather all off. And, Roderick, the first thing is, like, you need to put that back on again. You really need to put that back on again. You're still vulnerable without it. I'm gonna run. Give it back. He's going to chase it. He's chasing (laughs) after her. I need to Yes! Give it back. I'm gonna run out. Just run. Oh, he's going to be oh, my chasing. God. You're like, I'm not well, with your sock. She's not coming back with it. When he look, when he starts, when he starts, like right before he starts to run, what? Are, can I try an insight to see, like, Roy how Arcana he check. is? All of Arcana you, to see check? if you recognize these effects. Nineteen. Normally, okay, you pass. You pass. You fail. Yeah. Totally. When it comes to curse, okay, so like this is gonna sound out there to you guys, but. When it comes to curse items, there's an unusual obsession of keeping to it. And also, uh, the mean, curse doesn't necessarily end when removing the item. You have to, like, legit remove that shit. Uh, Armin just kind of Armin just kind of rubs his rubs his chin for a second and goes, that's... Uh, that explain a bunch. So he, all right, he looks at, he looks at Armin. Mm-hmm. So you see it, too. Roderick is now chasing Anya. Anya is faster. Away like a chihuahua with your underwear. Uh, wait, Anya is wait, faster. Wait, she has wait. 40 feet. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Roderick will cast Long Strider. Anya, come back here. His, his, movement, his movement speed is now 40. Uh, Armin looks at Selka and I had Omen. a head start, bitch. You can't catch me. Well, here's the thing. You literally just heard Omen. Anya, come back here. Oh. I, we, I need, we need to catch him. Uh, he's just, does Anya lead, try to lead Arm, uh, Roderick back to the group? Yep. All right. Roderick is currently naked. Not naked, but you're in your box. <laughs> I'm in my box. I know it's gonna be difficult, but I need. Like to I said, him. Anya is running away like a chihuahua. With All your right. Name. Well, um, the rest um, of you, the rest of you, the moment Anya comes past, I need you to dogpile Roderick. All right, as Anya does, everyone, everyone, athletics, Roderick, athletics. Anya, run. Me one. <laughs> Roderick, you are so determined to get the armor back. You don't see. Wait, why are you on the ground now? That's the second. That's, that's, that's two that ones in a row. That's two that ones in a row. As you, as you, as you, as you like, down for a as second. As you go. Go, Omen walks over. Summons her pack weapon and touches it to the back, the back of gently, not by stabbing, but gently to you. Whatever magic, whatever ills afflict you, whatever curse this is, I bat, I hear by the name of the Raven Queen, I break it. I cast remove curse. As you do, Roderick? Why the fuck were you wearing oh. that armor? God, that was such yeah. a bad idea. Why? Uh, he he just like he's just laying under there. Like, I feel naked. As he, as he, as he, realized that, he just struggled with a naked goblin. Or a naked, naked, naked Goliath. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys. Because, 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 this is actually, this actually is pretty interesting. Um, Ani is the only one who has seen it before. Um, I think that's, um, but, uh, Roderick, as he stands up, oh, his yeah. body is oh, yeah, heavily, heavily. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Roderick is Roderick is heavily tattooed all over, like as normal glass, but on his chest he has three long, like dug in, like looks like very crudely cr- crossed in, and he has this large mark across his, like in the center of his chest, and he kind of like goes and quickly runs to go get his mithril plate. Yep, but Anya, you're chewing on this. It smells bad. <clears throat> now that's off. It smells bad. 
I know too. Well, like she wants to destroy it. Ah, uh, roll wisdom save. Ooh. Roll oh wisdom save. God. Please don't no, tell. No, no, no. no. Oh, you know. I only have so many slots, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. Anya, oh. you're fine, but you probably should not be chewing on that thing. <laughs> so that's off of Roderick's body now. I'm gonna drag, like she's she's that she's she gives you the face of like, what should I do with this? I think we should probably hand it into the guards. Yeah, let's do All that. All right, so on your way to the mountain, you guys hand in the armor to the guards. They accept it's it. Kind of, yep. it's, it's kind of fun, Roger. Yeah. Whatever you, the omen just kind of puts it in. I mean, been the one to put. Whatever this is, it's uh, not me, pleasant. Right. So let me delete the armor of vulnerability. I don't yep. All right. All right. Well, we'll, so, we'll, we'll uh, hand it over to the Mages Academy. Thank you. I don't know the specifics, but I'm almost certain it's cursed. Yep. And Roger is. He comes. He comes down. At, like, at, like he's now walking behind. Kind of like he. He. he he's. 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 We. He feels weird because it's like that armor was like. Ugh. But like. He he did not like being exposed like that, <laughs> mainly because of his chest. But so, yeah. as we're walking up to the mountain, Omen's like, "So, do you think my request for changing to your place was a good request?" Now, not now. Oh come on! It's not like I'm going to go crying. We all have our, we all have our, our marks secrets. from history. Roderick will like look at Omen and just be like, and like his eyes scream like he is annoyed. Drop it. Just saying, we're not gonna judge you on it. Armin puts a hand on your shoulder, Omen. And he goes, "Let's leave him be. He didn't want that being seen." Already forgotten about it. He just like like he looks at he gives you like one just stare, not of like anger or annoyance, Roderick. Just like just a one glance at you before walking back ahead. Anya's yep. right next to you. She's, Already forgotten about it. She's kind of looking up at you like she knows what was being shown. Yeah, Anya. Anya was, was the only one who saw it. And she's looking up at you like you could talk to me about it. I'm fine, Anya. <clears throat> it was not. It, it's it, it's over with. Let's get to the mountain, fix those two, and we can move on. Hey, uh, how do you lo make a t token smaller again? I'm trying to remember. Uh, that's a good. That's a good was question. Was it Alt? What, what was the button? Possibly Alt. Here. Uh, help and docs. Let me double check. It was Alt. Got it. All right. Okay. Oh, problem solved. Now you with know, that. Did you know Primordial, uh, Roderick? Cody? Yeah, Roderick. No, no, Roderick knows Giant and Common. That's it. Alrighty, alrighty. All right. I know he, someone he, here. Someone here knows Primordial. I do. There you go. You guys yeah, make it's, your it's, way. It's a language for. <clears throat> and as you do, you guys arrive into the entrance of the mountain, the tunnel that should hold it up. <laughs> The mountain itself is very big. You like it goes into the clouds. You can't even see the tip. Even like from a distance, it's hard to see the tip of the mountain. Wow. It is massive. Like it's probably the biggest it's, mountain in Zargon. Uh, based on being in Julatin, just like enough. Some say that you can see the coast from how tall this mountain is. Like that's how far you can see out. Ooh, this is a mountain. This is a big mountain. Climbing this is probably going to take a while. It's been a while. while. I would like everyone to make con saves for climbing the first bit of this. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually good at these. Yeah. Not, not my best save. Twelve. Seven. I've got another exhaustion. Uh, actually, you need to get yeah. above a five. So, uh, Lippia, yeah. you have a level of exhaustion. You have a disadvantage on all skill checks. Ah, Celica's fine. A, or, I think at the point, has would have would have yeah. recovered from it by now. Hmm? What? He got one when we were yeah. on the, Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, yeah. he would recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm safe for Anya. Yep. We've swept. I don't think you can even fail this, but oh, yep. I I need... yeah, make a con save to, to avoid exhaustion. Oh, yep. Doesn't my natural terrain though? Where? Oh well. 
You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Anya, you can call back. You this call back. Like, like the thing that Lipia starts getting tired and Armin just like grabs you, starts pulling you. He's like, come on. All right. As you guys enter, you enter this like me- open mouth with a half seen Salid and you are taken to this area. The winds, there's rarely any sound. No sounds of birds or anything. It's just. Had a long rest since dealing with the ogres, right? Yes. Yes. Obviously. As you enter this cave, it is like a cool temperature. Like, you know, as we get higher. You guys I enter. I have one spell slot, though, because I had to remove curse. Give someone. <clears throat> Dude, would you rather have uh, curse in here? Actually, actually, we would have had a short rest by then, right? No, because you keep because you keep walking. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah you never claimed that yeah. you did, so. All right. As you guys walk up, you guys see this. Uh, inside the mountain. Inside, there seems it seems to be this cave system. It goes several directions. Mm. Anya, you, with Anya and Armin, with your guys' passage, you hear this weird. Coming from where? All every pathway. Can I name what does it? What does it sound like? The kind of <laughs> With disadvantage, because you can't see the creature. Sounds like chewing. I'll roll again, because disadvantage, and I've got to check. 14. Okay. Uh, maybe some kind of insect type monster? Some some kind of insect or something? You're not sure. Potentially insect. Well, no, Omen Dick can't hear this. Right. So yeah, Armin, Anya, that is what you guys hear with your passive perceptions. Oh wait, no wait. Size increased. Yes, then in that case, Omen, you would hear it. Yeah, I have a seventeen with size on my shoulder. Yep. Hold on, Armin. shoulder, everybody, never Armin. disadvantage. Armin, Armin, go. Armin is like. Attention. We should <coughs> stay. Sectoid. Yeah, let's keep let's keep a low profile. Everyone, stay quiet. I'm gonna cast pass without trace. Okay. Everyone? Okay. Our, Roderick, you don't have disadvantage because of the mithril again. So now he has advantage. Oh, he has plus 10 because of pass without trace. Yep. I would like everyone to roll me list cell check. I have advantage because of my cloak of elven kind. Good thing, too. 31. 30. Jesus, 39 Lipia. 39 on Lipia. The feeling roll when the roll is not 20. All right. Everyone stealth. I'll roll for Selka. Selka's fine. Anya stealth. I stealth. E. That's deal. 32. 32. All right. Which way do you guys go? Do you wish to go left, straight up, or right? Ooh. To the left, to the left. Everything you want. says left, but that's me. You right? right? You, you got, you, uh, Omen's on left. I think, I think, we, I think, okay, Roderick wants to go left. I definitely think we should all stay together. So I, I'm agreeing with left. Don't you know you never right. split the party? As you guys move left, because like it's that's the majority. You guys come across here, move your tokens. What are those? And you see these? Oh, we, these are oh, like right here. five, six feet long insect-like creatures. They, Ooh, they like are very okay. One second. Uh, give me a sec. I gotta get like a. Okay, I'm looking at this, and the first thing that comes to mind is the Arachne from Star Wars. I know, right? I was they, the exact they have thing. these jagged teeth. They look like they look like ants with hair hair sticking out of them. They they have these pincers as their claws. Again, they're like five six feet with uh, underbelly of red, but the over the overtop shell of this insectoid creature is blue, and it has this weird long, like slim tongue. <laughs> Gross. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Welcome sound effects. If anyone wants to roll an issue check to figure out what these are, go ahead. Sure, what might as well. What are those I'll things? roll oh, it. Hell no. Yeah, why not? 16. Oh, hell no. 12. Okay. Anya, would you like oh, to roll an issue check? You might have encountered these as a huntress. 19. Okay, so I'm going to start with Anya because this is more fun. These are shell pincers. They have a leader, and if you kill the leader, they will all disperse out of respect for Pact. I'm trying to explain this as only you would know it. The rest of you, 
Like, so, like, once you kill leader, they respect you and leave you alone. They fear you. Everyone else, these are cru, 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 thix, cru thix. They're, Cru-thix. yeah, they're basically a hive-like insectoid monstrosity led by hive lords. Like, to, uh, for Armin and Lipia, you know this. They are led by hive lords. They tend to deplete resources in the area before moving on. Like, they're scavengers, basically. Uh, Armin, but they are a high mind, so if you alert one, you alert all. Armin kind of turns towards the group and gestures. Gestures kind of lets move back for now. Again, they're coming from all directions. I know. So, but we, but now, but since we know that, we can kind of plan. Okay. Yeah. We should probably. All right. All right. Looks like looks like there's some. There's some Kruthix here. We should keep an eye out. If we alert one, we alert all of them. Right. Yep, Lipia, like I said, you also know that they're like a hive mind society, so Armin is telling the truth. You alert one, they all fucking know. Right, so... And we don't know how many are here in this cave. No. But if they are here, you two could reason, and Anya too, the leader is here too, because they, again, hive mind, so they have to be close by. And again, kill the high vine, they all scatter. Maybe we should probably check the other pets for them. Potentially. Okay, I have an idea here. Do we know if the leader one looks any different? Bigger. Uh, You you three know? Bigger. So much bigger. Like, double their size. Like, it's like a like a 12 foot long insectoid. Okay, I might have an idea to make this a little bit easier because they might not suspect that it's just they might not just suspect a bird. I'm thinking that Psy scout a, that, that Omen, you use Psy to scout ahead to try and find where this is to make it a little bit easier. Actually, not a bad idea. That um, being said, I don't know how they'll react if they see Psy. So I'm, I'm well, probably hungry. I have, <clears throat> well, I have the perfect solution to that. What's that? And in a flurry of feathers, she's gone. Oh, just oh, yeah, she turns into Psy. She's a bird. Yep, you're Psy now. All right, which direction would you like to go with Psy? Uh, we'll just uh, we'll continue this way. I think you okay. said there was no animals Move in Psy. here, correct? Roll a stealth check for Psy plus ten. I said that uh, there was nothing you saw but these, and I said there was no bird chirping outside the mountain. I never said anything about inside the mountain. Uh, let me just find my. It's under uh, claws. Yeah, okay. I would advise keeping as high to the ceiling of this place as possible, too. Oh, yeah, Again, plus are. 10 for this. Yeah. Um, he has in stealth, so it's for sex. 14. Yeah, I put the pass about trade. So here's the thing about these creatures that you guys, you three would know. They have tremor sense, so technically this was the first thing you could have done. That is, that is cool. Yep, yep so... Oh, good job, guys. Come on. So, Psy basically can move undetected to them. I can't believe that worked! Nice job, Richard. I honestly, I was like, I was like, okay, I know that there's no, he said there was no right, animals. So as you go down this path, you see, one second, I have to, uh, well, one second, I guess roll 20, believe some of the people, no, no, bad, bad roll 20, bad. Bad roll 20. <laughs> Why, beats with stick. Don't praise me. I have no. I have no uh, cleverness abilities whatsoever. I am the. I am the least clever person in the world. All right. You yeah, notice. Yeah. Let's see. What does I? You see? find the hive mind, like in this catacomb of like weird tunnels and everything. You find them. Four surrounding the hive Jesus lord. Christ, that's a big motherfucker. Tell it looks a little bigger. What do you think would happen if we? Oh, no, but still. Do they pay to let me eat him something or Yeah, they seem to I'm gonna name game. him I'm gonna name him Jimmy. <laughs> so I'm having found this thing. She uh, is gonna fly back to the group. Alright. She flies back to where she was. The rest of you see the raven approaching. It lands on the ground and in the flutter of feathers again turns back into Omen with Cypress on his shoulder. Alright. Found the Hive Lord. Alright. Surrounded I'm by gonna... four guards north of, north of this passage. 
They'd probably just have to fight through these two to get them. To get there. Problem is, once we once we fight these two, these three, how many did you see around the Hive Lord? Four more. You're also assuming Damn. there's no others in the cave nearby. Yeah, there's prob we did hear them from all directions. He, so. look, he, he looks at you and he says, Can you do that again? Absolutely, why? Check the other paths. Alright, for the sake of brevity, because again, they can't really detect you. Plus, even if they had sight, we're in a pitch black cave and I'm pitch black feathers. Yep. I'd be pr I imagine I'd be pretty hard to spot. Oh boy. Soul of the Raven, it's so fun. Yep, yep. it's a useful ability. Alright, so this is what you see. Give me mm. a sec. I just have to reveal more areas. For some reason, it's darkening. Mm. No, I don't want you to fucking darken. I want you to, you know, un. I want you to lighten. Don't make a pun. Anyways. Here we go. This is starting to work. Wow. This is That's alive. a lot. Shit. Oh god, there's a lot, aren't there? Oh fucking network! Oh, there. it's a. It looks like a. It is a hive. Yeah. So you're saying we're in a in a in a in a in a in a ant hill, pretty much. Okay. It, the world's largest ant hill. Okay. Uh, Fury, can can you cast spells while you're in while you're fused with Psy like that? As Psy comes back, if you ask that. Yeah. It's just a shake of the, the head. Damn it. I guess I gotta go past this. She, oh flips, she turns, back, okay. turns back into herself and relays the information about how many there are and where. Okay. A lot. Oh For the sake of everybody, a lot. The simplest, okay. the quickest way would just be to barge past these as quick as we can. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. Plus, also, this... the only way out of here. Did I see anything else, like, of interest aside from the creatures? Uh, nope, and you didn't go past the hive, so it doesn't look like the exit yeah, exactly. that way. Is that okay. so. Keller I have, idea? I wouldn't have seen the, I see the exit here's, here. Here's the thing. I have an idea. So, I mean, there's, there isn't anything else of worth in the other chambers. The hive lord's up through this one, and that's the only other way out of this location, so... Well, at least you could theorize based on the fact that there's nothing else here. Exactly. Plus, so I was close enough. To, plus, I was close enough to see the, so I could probably see this exit here. Okay. Uh, you assume it's an exit. There's I have, one. I have an idea here. Okay. What's your idea? Uh, what does that require to turn in the side? Your bonus action or main action? Uh, it's my action to turn. In, I think it's either an action to turn into him and a bonus to demerge or vice versa. Let me check. Soul of the Raven is a bonus action, and it's an action to return to normal. Okay. I might have an idea here. Because if you alert the Hive, you alert all of them. If you alert one of them, you alert all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. So... You said it takes your main a your bonus action to turn into to fuse with Psy, your main your main action to return to normal, correct? Correct. Yeah. How about this? They are the farthest away, which means that they'll have to make their way over. They'll have to make their way uh over here. Yeah. Here's what I'm suggesting. This is this will at least give us some time to deal to deal with them before the rest of them can bother us. This is just a suggestion. If you guys have a better plan, let me know. Fury turn Fury turns into Fury turns into Psy. Flies somewhere in this in this deeper part of the cave. Gets their like and like by the way, we move back near the near the end of the cave. So we're still hidden. She gets their attention. And they'll all start making their way over to you. You turn back into Psy, you, fl you just fly back over to us. You're assuming, means... they, they are, you're assuming they wouldn't chase you and that their vision is solely on Tremor. Yeah, That is true. Uh, We'd have to base their solely on Tremor. Like I said, if you guys have a better plan, let me know. 
It's just an idea I'm throwing out, but if you guys have a better plan, let me know. Does anyone have any other spells that might, How like... What? Is like this, a... like, only a 10 foot wide? Is this here, like, only 10 feet wide? Yep. Or five. That's 10 foot wide, is it? How yeah. high is the ceilings? Oh, uh, like, uh, 30 feet. Two questions. Does anyone have shatter? Uh, I, I don't. Rangers don't get shatter. Uh, I have... Uh, so I'll go and pipe up. I have erupting earth, if that helps. What does erupting earth do? Uh, choose a point in the ground you can see... Like, so you can see on the ground within range, which is, uh... 120 feet. A fountain of crumbled earth instantly erupts in a 20 foot cube center on that point. Each creature in the area must make a dex saving throw. A creature takes blah blah blah. Basically, it would rupture, vibrate everything. The point I'm making is most of the and most of the potential adversaries come from this location. She points to the northern tunnel. If we block that tunnel off, we'll only have we only ha we'll have much less of them to deal with. I don't think uh, my spell can do that. How high is the ceiling? 30 feet. Like I said. Thirty feet. Be on the ground within range. Was that if it was if it was like twenty feet, then the cube would reach, reach the ceiling. But annoyingly, it doesn't. I was thinking shatter could cause a cave in. Well, I don't think anyone here has shatter. Is the problem? Yeah, that, that's the problem. You don't have shatter, do you? I don't. I don't. Wait. I'm a nope. rogue. You said that they have uh, tremor sense. Yes, they sense yeah. things in vibrations. Huh. And I would I know if they have any other sight. No, you're a danger check. Uh, Anya, they see you. They do see you, but uh, they tend to uh, lead primarily by uh, tremor sense. Like they rely on that more than actual sight. Oh my god, that ow ow. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yep. Anyways, on, so Anya, if, if you would like to bring that up, then go ahead. Real quick, I thought we did because Ar Armin did gesture that we move back this way. So what? Well, okay, so Anya knows that these creatures, uh, Kurthix, uh, they do see, but they rely on their tremor sense more than anything. It was actually a hunting trip trope of yours to use their tremor sense to lure them in and kill them while they were distracted. They can still see. It's just, they rely more on sense of the floor. Uh -huh. Uh huh. They rely more on vibrations. It was old trick when hunting that we would hide for ambush, and then we make lots of noise, like run around and attract them for ambush. So if the rest of you were to hide in an app, were to hide using you know. the magic passed without trace, and hid in this, say, this corner, she gestures. The chance of them noticing, or even just outside the cave, the chances of them noticing if they come bowling through to a disturbance would be lessened. <laughs> Alright, what's I'm going to uh, roll intelligence into Priscilla on screen just so she can figure this out. Just give me one six. Sixteen? Okay, she can. What if I use my uh, erupting mm -hmm. earth and uh, basically, uh, you know, that would cause tremors, right? Hmm. Here's the thing, I was thinking about that. It says a fountain of churn, earth, and so... Oh, it erupts, so yeah, technically that would cause a lot of tremors. If you want me to, I can. I'm going to go on things. I suppose. How far, how far away can... What's the range on 120 that? feet. Like 100, 120 feet, something like that. You have to be able to see it, don't you? I, I could see it. Uh, I'll, I mean, I have good eyesight. I, I'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, if that's the case, then... then if we go back kind of this way to hide, yeah. how where would she be able to see it in here where she can cast it? Probably well, from the entrance. Yeah, so if you guys are here, she can literally cast it right anywhere she can see within here because of the natural light coming in. So about I still say we have to be about in the here. Entrance, otherwise, this group's gonna see us. If they're looking in that direction, this corner is not exactly in the way to up there. I say, if the disturbance comes here and we're hiding here, 
this group will see as they come in. They'll see us in this corner. Unless they go uh, again, there's also yeah, a case here, of here's the thing. If you alert if you alert one of them, you alert all of them. So that assumes that they're all connected. Not probably not just probably not through sight, but they they get this feeling like there's something in there. So they're gonna be focused on that spot. If you say so. Alright. Uh do you guys reside in that corner? We that is man. Everyone will self check for me. With. That's without trace, so that trace. Okay, so I'll get real good. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit, that's a 40 on the rock. <laughs> yeah, that's a feeling when you get your spell on the rock. Yep, I guess self. Roderick, a 14. Hey. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm well, a big thankfully, love. to be fair, they don't have the best passive. So, Celica will cast mm -hmm. that up there. <laughs> they begin to all move this direction. <laughs> Omen holds up. As these three walk by, Omen holds up her hand to the group, saying, with four fingers up. Yeah, Try she doesn't keep concentration on it, so they're not hurt. Just because, like, that would get them more aggravated, so... Yeah. Just to get their attention. Yep. Um, just like, hold the fingers up, like, there's four more. Well, we got the majority of them for now. Yeah. Do you guys wish to press forward? Then she's gonna listen down. The, she's gonna try and listen down here to see if any more of them are moving or if they're standing guard by the high lord. You can't tell without like taking a minute. Do you want to risk that minute? No. no. Let's go. Oh, let's, get let's, going. let's. This is better than what we were going to deal with. Yeah. So let's start no. heading that way. Yep. Yep. And Roderick right, will be. Everyone will have stealth with advantage because they are thoroughly distracted. Yeah. With advantage, plus ten. Yeah. Twenty. Roger Thirty-two. Also has yeah, Roger has Roger's 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 do, 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 do. We all can run. All right, so you guys arrive, and it doesn't seem like the Hive Lord has moved. No other way. Okay, I'm gonna be shy. I'm gonna use my size to pop around the corner and look. They are stationary. She flips back and turns back. Has not moved an inch. Well, I'm gonna get a clearer shot than this. All right, so everyone, big... roll one more self if you wish to ambush. So if anyone's got a big boom, now be the time. Uh, I was about to say, does anyone have in any area of effect spells that might work here? I don't have one that can... That, 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 um, the only people no, have not me. Nothing, because I, I have to be... Well, no, but that would... I, 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 yeah, no. I have one, but I wouldn't be able to use it in a 26. surprise round. 26. I've only got one. Oh. Thirty-four. I've only got one AOE effect, and it's centered on me. Okay. Yeah. I was. Gonna, I, I mean, the only thing that I—it's not an area effect, but I mean, and it is. I have a main. main. I would have to. to yeah. I, but I have to with the thirty feet. Main. On my next turn, cast it. I, 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 I have Bane. That's like the only thing that I could do. Mental and, but I, I leave. All right, uh, you guys are successfully selfful, so uh, if you guys want to begin an ambush round, everyone roll for initiative. Yep, we'll go with ambush. And remember, Armin and Lippy, as I have told you, kill the high floor, they all scatter. Sounds like a plan. Oh, that was like a plan, Ooh. Stan. Twelve. Oh, Stop. Oh, uh, that's far away. We wouldn't even be able to get a surprise round without... Uh... Well... I'm saying you guys can move up too. Like again, like remember, you guys could move. I gave you guys the cell chance, so you guys could move closer. Uh, so, 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 so thirty uh, feet. Shit. Actually, no, I have thirty-five feet. I'm good. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me see. Distance-wise, uh, I wouldn't be able to get all of them. Damn it. I would need to. You be have movement. A little bit. However, with that being said, uh, yeah. Yep. It is your. All of you? 
Is Silica's turn first? All right, let's see which things we're all good. Fate is sealed when your prophecy is read. Okay, this is what she's gonna freaking do. She's about to fuck them up, isn't she? <laughs> she's gonna run up and she's gonna cast Tidal Wave. Nah. <gasps> That's dope! No way. That, that being said, that is some cheeks numbers for 48. Yeah, that's bad, but uh, they need to make a con save. Deck save uh, looks like. Okay, save. I don't think they're the best. Half damage them. and isn't prone if they make it. Well, here's the thing. Uh, that thing was up on a ledge, so uh, yeah, it's going to take uh, full damage if it does fail. All right, let's see. Fails. Fails. Yes. Fails. Fails. They all yes. fail. They all are going to take seven. Yeah, get fucked up. And they're prone, which means melee attack with advantage. Well, you always did, but also, it's worth noting, that thing has to take uh, 3d6 fall damage. Wow, that thing was 30 feet up. Alright, it falls Get prone it. on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's now size turn, technically. Uh, he's just gonna stay on my shoulder. I figured. Lippy, it's your go. Yep. I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, and I'm going to throw psychic daggers at this. All right, roll to hit with advantage. For the... Actually, no, I'm going to throw it at the Hive Lord. I'm Fair sorry, enough. I didn't mean to backseat game there. Eh. I will. It will be a warning. But Slippia did do that in game, so yeah. 19 hits, I think. <laughs> Actually, that just misses. Oh, oh no, my shit! What the fuck are these things I see? Uh, misses. Yeah, no. Well, the high board, anyways. Anyways, all right, that's yeah, uh, gonna... your turn. Well, Anya, it's your go. It is your go. Either way, she didn't get above. Even if she rolled the nineteen, it wouldn't matter. I shall activate the anginess. All right, you rage. Yep. I agree. I'm going to. Come up over here and smack. All right, roll to hit smack. with advantage because it's prone and is it. Twenty-four hits, nineteen misses. Ooh. <laughs> nineteen points of damage. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's your turn. All right, I am already apologizing, Lipia, but it's the best thing I can do. Okay. Jeremy's so gonna summon her pack blade, move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as she can move. That's fine. She no mutters a foul incantation and stabs her blade into the ground. I cast Arms of Hadar. Alright, what does that do? <laughs> full I know of this black spell. energy reached out from her in a 10 foot radius, and these black tentacles reach out and try and grab everything within distance. Everything needs to make. So, this, these three. The Hive Lord, no. these two, and Lipia need to make a strength save. Okay. Oh, well, God. the good thing is Lipia does have that Doesn't plus have a shit, and then she rolls that. Yeah, that's a fail. Never mind. Here's the thing. I would have had to roll at this advantage anyway. No, that's a saving throw. All right, never mind. Then. Difference. They specifically mentioned that as a different level of exhaustion, which reminds me. Oh, shit, oh. you should have been rolling stuff at this advantage this whole time. Oh, well. Uh, uh, now. Lipia, you're taking 13 necrotic. Well, technically, yeah, you, fine. Uh, you could uh, you could uncanny dodge that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uncanny. Is it grappling it. her? Uh, oh, you're right. Never mind it wasn't then. Grapple, but the uh, on a failed save, the target takes two d six necrotic damage and can't take reactions until its next turn. Yeah, so Lipia can't have a reaction. Give me a second. It's only it's only if I had to reload my Chrome because of uh. Right. Issues and it, reasons. They take half damage and keep uh, their reaction if they don't. Uh, if they succeed. Um, I think I have an. All right, so time to roll for them. Well, something tells me they're going to fail because that was a natural two for the first two. Ouch! Hive Lord. Uh, the, I'm rolling for the next one. Uh, 14 for the last adult. If only one of them would. Have, only two of them are in range. Oh, okay. In that case, the Hive Lord. Ten foot. 
Okay, twelve. Uh, fails. All right, they yep. are all grappled and restrained. They're all restrained. They're not restrained. They just can't take reactions. All right, well, can't take reactions. Not that they could, as far as anyways. But uh, yep, and they all take thirteen. Yep. And then there's Armander Project in the background, just like you ready? Oh, I, I can move up, and he goes, "Yeah." Armander, it's your turn. I'm gonna run right up because I have 35 feet of movement. Hunter's mark. This chucklehead, and okay, try chuckle to attack nut. with try yes, to attack try to attack with my shiny stick. All Think right. fast, chuckle nuts. You First attack have advantage misses. 18. Damn it. Shiny stick. Twenty-two. 22. So he is gonna take all of this. So seven <laughs> slashing, seven radiant, and four damage from Hunter's mark and Colossus Slayer. So 14, 18. It's looking rough, but it's still up. Roderick. Roderick, it's your turn. Hi. Um, I'm gonna move to here, and let me let me read the wording of this spell real quick. You te if you really, I think we definitely should. Can he move within my space technically, or is that a? Yes, he can. Oh, as long but as you have the whoa, how much would you have left? I I have like five. No. He cannot then. He cannot. Nope. So, actually, Fair enough. I would, yeah, but um. I'm going to cast Bane on the. I can pick three creatures: the one in front of me, this one because it's within thirty, and then the uh, the hive. Uh, uh eleven, twelve for the adults. Miss, they both fail. Your DC is your oh, DC. No, oh, no, twelve. Yeah, twelve is twelve is the DC, so one of them passes. Okay, and for the hive lord, seventeen. Okay, so only one of them is uh, it, it whenever they take they take a Minus attack E4. roll. All right, it's yeah. now time for them to roll initiative. I can still I have a bonus action. Or okay, what do you want? Bonus action? What do you want? Bonus action? Um, wait, can can I bonus action? Yeah, I, I can't attack. Oh, I I can't attack though. Yeah, you can't no. attack. You can take no. attack action. Nope. Dead. That's fine. I'm. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, I won't. I won't use my bonus action. All right. God, I'm going to be going last. Yeah. Oh, 21 on the Hive Lord. Ooh. Yep. And it has more decks than Celica. So this one is gonna get up and it's gonna attack you, Roderick, with a minus D4. Yep. Oh, well, Roderick is by the way is dual wielding, so just All to right. make sure that. Yeah, no, technically you wouldn't be able to do that because uh, Bane requires somatic components. Yep, so you couldn't. But anyways, uh, 12 to hit you on the first attack. Miss. Six, because he got a zero yeah. thanks to Bane. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Hive Lord's turn. Oh. Now this thing's Big fun. daddy. Remember, right. it has disadvantage on hitting anybody. Who says it's going to attack you? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. I <laughs> need... Anya, I like what is... Armin, Roderick, and Lipia to make a dexterity saving throw. Right knee. Okay. You're fine. You're taking half. You fail. You fail. You pass. So Roderick... Okay, this is gonna hurt. This is oh, yeah, you watch as it sprays this acid in front of you. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, oh, um, <laughs> this is gonna hurt. This que is question. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me read. Let me read the wording of this. All right. Well, in the meantime, Rog. Okay, so for those who failed, Lipia, to so the wolves, the wolves failed. Ironically. Yep. You're going to take 31 points of acid damage. Everyone else, Ooh. the others take 15. Um, Here's my question. Ow. Does, this, okay. does, this, does, does this classify as a attack roll? No. Nope. This is a saving throw. And I can't do it. Fuck. Yep. I'm going to use my reaction. Um, Who gets hit? Armin, Roderick, and Lipia. Lipia seems to take the uh, most damage. Uh, I'm like taking damage. the most damage. Um, I'm Down. gonna use my reaction. Yeah, you only took thirty-one. Thirty. Yeah, I took. Uh, yeah, 31. Here's the thing, though. Uh, you said thirty-one. I already took thirteen damage from Omen earlier. Right. Oh. Then yeah, you're down. 
No, right. wait, wait, guys, listen! Yep. Right. I use my reaction. Roll 2d6. Okay. It's for spirit shield. It deducts 2d6 worth of damage. All right. Oh! Wow. Oh! Okay, so... One second. Jeez. Sorry. All right, so you were down 15, 13. That was 26. All right. 26. We're going to treat... Uh, 26. You would be up by 38. So you're at 7 HP. Thank you, Anya. Jesus. Yep. Uh, Wait, how did you take on. damage from Omen earlier? Because it was an AOA. Yep. Because it was oh, an AOA. Right. right. Forgot about that. Yep. All right. It's now Celica's turn. All right, uh, all right, and that can... Muted. Yep, I could tell. They're gonna cast Cure Wounds on you, Lipia. You need it. Yeah, I will. Yeah. This is Not a bad. You heal for eight. Eight. Okay. What are we fighting? Uh, insect hive mind Bro thing. So, you know the, the arachnid creature in the Arena of Star Wars Episode 2? It's that, basically. Nope, I don't know. I've no never seen that. It's size no, turn. disgusting. By the way, next turn around, Celica's going to use Tidal Wave. I've already right. done that. Well, you, people are in the way of that, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, and no, well, there, might not, there might not be an next turn. Is I going to do anything? Nope. All right. much older. Anya, this one's going to come after you. <laughs> Which one? That one. The one that just went to you. Alright. Death They have pack tactics, so it's gonna be with advantage. Wow, that is a 10 to hit you. That misses. Bows. That's an actual 20. That's better. Oof. What the fuck? What do you mean that? That's not better. Hey, you're angry. You resist. 10 piercing damage cut down half to 5. Alright, this one. Is gonna go, and it's gonna go for you, Omen. I knew it. Right. Nine to hit you. Missed. Yeah. Eighteen to hit you. They have two attacks. That hits. Yeah. I, yeah. Six points of damage. <laughs> Son of a. Anya, it is your turn. This thing just My stabbed bag. you with this pincer. This this thing just stabbed you with pincer, but this thing shot I... weird acid at you. I, I I know that 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 little bitch doesn't matter to me. I want the big guy. <laughs> well, actually, I was about to say, uh, Rook's on you. Part of his paw got burned. <gasps> <gasps> this bitch gonna die. Would you say you're acting a little reckless? I'm acting a little reckless. I was gonna say this. Mm -hmm. Before that, I ruled that she should have free advantage because no one fucking touches Rook. Nope. No, <laughs> that works. Unfortunately, no, that works. Twenty-four hits and twenty-five hits. Kill this motherfucker. You might. Kill him. Okay, minus. Also, bonus action, I'm going to use my uh, claw. Okay, do it. Arr. That hits. How would you like to do this? Yes! yes! <laughs> um, so as soon as I hear what Rook whimpering on my shoulder, she snarls and... Uh, there's just, this, takes... there's just this small comment from Omen. Oh, you done fucked up. <laughs> she snarls <laughs> and then she like... stabs it in, um, in the chest, stabs it in the head, and then she, um, she uses her claws and holding its head up with her spear, she just cuts its head off with its. Claw. As you do, you have earned a trophy, and the rest of the Krulix uh, begin to burrow down and get away from you. Like, nope, 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 No, nope, well, here's the nope, thing. Like I said, they lost their hive lords, so they scatter. Yeah, they see the... Oh, they bitches. They see... They see that we've killed that leader, and they're like, nope, 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 nope. No, or like they sense it, so they're lacking the hive thing. But anyways, congratulations, you guys have beaten combat. Oof. Yay! And I didn't even yeah. get to... I only got to go... I only got to do All a right. surprise action in Mexico. I need to inspect Rook. 
I inspect Rook. Medicine check for me. I'll help. I'll give the help. I'm action. proficient. Twenty-two. Uh, as you do, <laughs> his paws is a little burn, but he'll be fine. <laughs> she just makes. She just uses um like her water skin to to clean it a little bit, and then cuts off uh part of the. Um, Instead of flashing wolf because ouch. Yeah. Even if like, it's cleaning, it probably off. hurts. Yeah, like she and she cuts off some of like the mantle that she has on and uses it as a bandage. Oh, you do so. He's happy. Yeah. Armin goes over to Omen, and he said, and he uh, he sees that you got a little. Uh, did you get burned at all from the acid or no? No, I just got poked. I'm fine. He's still I gonna give you like your wounds. She, before you can, she just bats her hand away and points to Lipia. She needs it far more than me. I'm hardly injured. All right. He just walks over, gives uh, you a cure wounds, Lipia. Heal four. Nor the Colossus Slayer Hunter's Mark. Uh, Eleven. Okay. I have to take that off, sorry. <sighs> you heal for eleven and you take eleven damage, so nothing. <laughs> yep. Anyways, all right. So as you guys do this, in front of you and behind their uh, nest is a door. And on it, there isn't a handle, but there are a series of buttons in three rows. On the first top row, there are four buttons. On the third row, there are three buttons. And then on, or on the second row, there are three buttons. And then on the fourth, on the third row, there are th four buttons. Okay, so first row, uh, first row, first four. row is four buttons. Um, uh, second row has three buttons. Mm -hmm. Third row has four, you said? Yep. Yep. On the fourth? There is no fourth. It's just three rows. So there's only three. So it's four, three, four. Yep, four, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. Four, three, four, huh? Mm-hmm. So like that, in other words, I hate that it did that. No, exactly. So that would yes. Well, it moved one to the side, which was annoying. Yes, but yes, that is more or less what you are seeing. Are there any markings on the door, or...? Not that you can discern, no. Is there anything on the walls, anything like that, that we can try and get a hint for? If there was, it's been tunneled through because of this nest. Whatever. While they're... Okay. I don't suppose we could try and explore to see if we find anything regarding this, could we? Uh, you can try, but you won't find anything. Like in the rest of the cave, we won't, you know, we, we won't find nope. anything. Nope. Damn it. Bloody slick. Armin? Armin is going to, uh. Anyone, does anyone have Mage Hand? Nope. No? Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. I have Eldritch Blast if you want to try and blow it down. Um, do you want a socket That's... blade? That's totally I'm saying, I'm saying, why don't we use. Like may I was thinking if we had mage hand we could press one of the buttons and see what happens, but um, um well technically we could still do it with a psychic blade, it just wouldn't I'd like to sniff the door. Hey, do all like the buttons it. smell the same. They, they all smell the same, but is it magic y magic? Or... Yes, it is magic y magic. I smell magic y magic. Wonderful. Why, right. Why does this seem familiar? Is this the puzzle that you said was going to make us go crazy? Oh no, that's the next one. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Um, this one's actually pretty easy, once you figure it out. Once you figure it out, that's good. Four, three, four. Yep. Are they evenly spaced? Uh, as much as four, three, four can be. So it's like, the three is in the middle of the four. Like, in yeah. the where there's a gap in the form is where the button, the three is, if that yep. makes sense. But yep. It, it looks like, it look, it's like kind of like an hourglass kind of yeah. shape. Yeah, the, the thinner row in the middle. I was going to say something simple, but I, I think it's so stupid. It wouldn't be it. Well, if your character would think of it. That's the problem is, I, I'm trying to help out medic, like, out of game, I'm trying to help y'all, but in game, Roderick's just like, He's poking the the freaking big thing yeah. with a stick. Um, I'm gonna. Omi's gonna go up to the door, and she's not going to apply a lot of pressure. There's barely any pressure involved. 
She's going to start to push on one button until she feels it starts to start to move. She's not going to push it in. She's going to push it until it so starts So you touch to it. Move. Yes, I touch it. Make everyone make a con save in this room. Everyone really? in the room? Yep. Good job. This is going in. Thicking. Okay, you're fine. You fail. You fail. Oh. <laughs> Ani, you're, Holy you're shit! It what the fuck happened Anya to Anya just sits there. Alright, Celica, oh, you roll... All right, for everyone who passed, you guys are fine. But for everyone else who failed, so Roderick. Which would... Roderick and Lipia, you um, two are going to take. Me. Did I miss it by one? Yeah. Yep. I hate you all. Yep. Uh, as you do... Fail? Yeah. Okay, wait, which one Fury did you touch? I need to know, actually. The middle one, I guess. Middle one in which row? The third one? Okay, the second row? The middle, okay. middle. Okay, as middle. you do... Uh, Roderick and Lipia, you take three points of poison damage. As do I, because I failed. All right, yeah, so do you. As a noxious va vapor expels from the wall. <laughs> oh, I would have had to on that because of Phoenix Yep. Yeah, three. Well, three you poison. didn't take any damage. The people who passed don't take any damage. I know. Yeah. But which was yep. at least uh, Omen, Roderick, and Lipia took damage. Yep. All right. So middle one is out. <laughs> wait, not um, just be buttons at random. There's got to be a wait, pattern. Yes. Wait, is, these are these buttons lit up? Nope. Are they made of? They're all made of the same material. Made of stone, seems so the, like. So the middle one is out. So that one's not the answer. It's not like it's not like it's a mechanical thing. I'm just touching it triggers it. I didn't even press it in. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Four, three, four. That's. Give me a sec. Give like... me a sec. Let me think of something. Fire. Keep talking. I'm just thinking for a sec. Yeah, I think, I think we're so. all thinking. Yeah. It's not the middle one. Maybe it's just the hourglass shit. DMC DMC There's no need to be banned. I said DM Don't you don't you fuck up the plan. I wish. Um four three four. First the middle one. Expel the noxious poisoned. gas. That's why we got poisoned. Poison damage. Um. This is the thing about D&D &D puzzles. We all, like, leave our brain cells at the entrance of the cave. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Let me think. Four, three, four. Four, three, four. Would you like an out of game hint? Please. Just a little. The one. answer is quite literally right mm. in front of you. Is there a doorknob on the door or something at all? That we can no, nope. We confirmed that. There is no doorknob. Um. Can we just push the door? Do you touch the door? No, I'm not touching it again. <laughs> okay. Army will have everyone stand back. Like at, le at least like towards the entrance the room, yeah. Yeah, okay. He'll he'll touch the door. Make a deck save. Touch uh, not touching the buttons. Okay. Ten. As you do, you see a magical bolt of energy hit you and push you back. You're gonna take. Oh, okay. Force damage. Force. You're gonna take nine force damage. Ow, ow! He just he gets said it, sucker punched in the gut. Fuck. He said it's right in front of us. He said it's right in front of us. Yeah. Wait, uh... 
Um, that doesn't make any fucking sense either. Unless, why do I feel like what? I want to check out where the freaking no. ner- like where the where four, the things at? Three, four. I press that button and it can't be. Can press it be the, the middle last button. Fucking buttons. What, define last. Like from left the to corner. right, the last button. Okay, so the rightmost so button. Before. All right. Yeah. What? Okay. Which row would be the most right button for you? Like, which uh, one would you want to press? The top one. Okay, you top. You press the top right button, the fourth one on that row. I do need you to make me a wisdom save. Oh, oh ah, shit! Oh. I am. I am actually decent at these. Uh. Okay. You don't take any psychic damage. Motherfucker. Okay, so that That's one's like out it. of the box. Mm-hmm. Middle and top right are out of the out of contention now. As well as touching the door in general. Ah, uh, as well as touching the door in general. It's got it. He gonna said it. it. I'm gonna touch the the second on the right on the top. Okay, so the one that is the one that left to it is the first button on the top row. Uh, no, the one to the one to the left of where Lipia just pressed, not Lipia. Okay, Lipia. so the the one the one that right of it, the third one on the top row. Yes, I would assume. Let me let me graphic. A... That one. Yes, that's what I said. Okay. Uh. Make a wisdom save. Oh, oh come no. on! Uh, which one is which button did you press? Third to the right. All right, you're gonna take nine. Four psychic damage. This is fucked. Wait. Third to the right. Yep, third to Wait. the right. So we've got the, the the those two have been psychic. The middle one was poison. The yeah, answer's right, but oh my god, I can only imagine what the fucking second one is gonna be. Well, if the one. answer is right the answer is right in front of you. The ones we pressed so far. Wait, wait, Alex, say your wording again. You said the answer right is right before. in front of you. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Uh, I hate these ones and it's. <laughs> it's not right. I'm gonna go for it again. Top right corner, top left corner, even. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, the top right corner has been picked. Are you going with yeah, the top, top left corner? Okay, as top you press right. it, the door begins to open. Motherfucker, it's where oh, we're standing. Right. Yep, yeah. it was the map. It was literally the map. <laughs> God, I hate you. That doesn't. You <laughs> little shit. <laughs> What screwed me the most is like there's four rows though. It looks wait, like wait, wait, wait. I scoop out. Hang on. Yep. One, oh my. Two, three, <laughs> four, I presume. And yep. then one. These, two, these all counted as one. Oh. Thank you. Three. I um, told you the here. answer's right in front of you. <laughs> but we're, we're thinking to. Now you do an out of game bullshit thing. You guys explored that is, though. That's like in game. You did explore it. The first thing that you said when the answer's right in front of you, I'm like, hmm, this room is a circle. Why don't I try pressing a circle of buttons? Here's the here's the problem. <laughs> I hate you. Let's just, yeah, let's just go through the door. Here's the problem. I hate you. <laughs> Alright, you guys let's just go through the door. Yes. Alright, you guys go through the door. Oh, oh yes. yes. Here comes the second one. Here comes the this worst. Is where one. I can't help you guys. Have fun. Yeah, no. You're not allowed. Well, no combat. You can combat. You can definitely. In combat, yeah, but nothing else. More- As you guys what? enter, you guys see the next room after traveling for a bit, a little up the steep. Where do we go? Right down to the bottom center. There you go. You say there's three layers to this dungeon too, isn't there? Yep. God, yep. Damn, we're only on second level. <laughs> Fuck us. You're sixth Crafted. level. Anyways, 
as you guys do, yeah, you, see, know, yeah. you see this goblin massacre. Like, all these dead goblins. You see one in the middle. <laughs> Hi, Gabo. Where are we? We're from the top or from the bottom? What? Are we entering this room from the top or bottom? You're going up a slant to get to it, so you're moving up. Oh, oh, right. Uh, yeah, bottom. You're bottom. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, where are we entering? Which direction are we entering this room from? North, south, east, or west? South here. I'm showing you guys on the map. Anyways. So we entered from this. To confirm, we entered from this direction. There's two Anyas. Okay, yeah, yeah, that direction. So yeah, you guys see a goblin in the midst of a slaughter? Like, you know, he's like in the, he's covered by other goblin bits. Quite an impressive body count. Not me! Not me! Then what? Not me? Did you say not me? Weird white crab thing. White and crab black crab. ooze. Ooh, um, I don't like me as a going. character, motherfucker. I don't like what that's. Black I don't even know what that is. Black I don't like. The, I'm yeah, scared of what black. that is. I am worried too, cause I know what that is. <gasps> I have no idea. Don't hurt! Don't hurt! We're not gonna hurt you. Are we about to make another goblin friend? Potentially. Uh, probably. Hello there, little it's friend. Possible. I'm just sniff. Uh, roll perception. Hi, Schneer. Advantage? Yeah. Schneer. Smells like magic. Smells like magic. Snort's magic. Snort's Snort. Snort like magic. <laughs> I'm gonna wiggle her nose. <laughs> don't eat! Don't eat! Not very tasty! Magic. magic. Going to eat you, she just smells magic on you. <laughs> My butt be from... From black... From black ooze! Could be. Can I nature? It's friends, it's friends, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a black pudding. <laughs> it's always a black pudding. That's kind of impressive. Huh. You could have been inside a black pudding and survived. <laughs> Might have, um, might have hid it in friends' bodies. Uh, What's a black a, pudding? A very, a highly corrosive. Uh, ooze. basically, yeah, it's a corrosive ooze that can actually weaken armor mm -hmm. and weapons if you hit them with it. Yep. Black, black ooze is suck. Yep. Black pudding suck. Mm -hmm. Luckily, out of character. Luckily, magical weapons are immune. Well, then I should probably change my... Okay, I'll save it. Alright, anyways. <laughs> hey, hey. No kill? No, we're not gonna kill you. The previous floor... The, the creatures on the previous floor are gone. The end exit is there. Run. No, can't run! Friends are up ahead! Meet it up with them! The friends are likely dead if there's a black pudding... Uh, black, black no, pudding friends tell them. Friends stronger than corpses! What? Trying to, trying to get yourself uh. spotted. Yes! Okay. But, but he, his whole being smells magical, or is there something specific? Uh, it smells like lemon. Lemon? Yep. Wait. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Illusion. Hold on. I have it written down somewhere. Hold on. Yeah. Smells like lemon? Lemon. Yeah. Lemon. It's illusion. Only Anya yes. knows that. Oh, but say, is the goblin not real? Anya Pork. <laughs> what is it, Anya? What is it, Anya? Magic. No. Lemon. Huh? What lemon? <laughs> He's kind of like wanting to she push the gobble. You push uh, him? She I push him that. with my claw. You do so. He feels and like it a doesn't goblin. feel funny. Nope. Felt normal. He And his whole being smells lemony. Actually, my bad. Uh, I mistook it. Uh, that was on me. Uh, it smells more like uh, coffee. Transmutation, then. Ooh. 
So she would relay the same thing, except instead of saying yeah, lemon, she says coffee. You, you what I mean, you mean? <laughs> she kind of like pushes. <laughs> don't hurt! Don't hurt! Don't hurt! She doesn't you know do what not... the schools of magic are, so nope. like, there's, she can't really help you there. She knows that. Smash your friend! Smash your friend! Smash friend! Smash your friend! Smash your friend! What's his name? Smashy. Smashy. <laughs> That's the name. Thank you. Thank you. Let me smash. What do we smell? Most of us are magical in some way. What do we smell like to you? On your sniff. Uh, weird spiritual sort of deal. Like shadows. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She kind of she got she walks up to to you. Um. Hey. Not not you, Lipia, but oh, Omen. Man. And she sniff. And she just shrugs. Mm. <laughs> smashy friends, smashy want to leave. Smashy want to see magic. friends. Smashy you smell like magic. Sp smashy spellcaster. Smashy spell shaman. Shaman. Oh, oh that's good. That makes sense. Inside. Sure. Can we inside that just in case. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just... Natural twenty. <laughs> Smashy be smash lion. <laughs> Except Army's the only one who can tell. Army's the only one who can tell so far. Wait, I want to try. And go I pocket guess. sand. Yeah, pocket nope. sand. No, nope. My pocket sand didn't work. Anya, would you like the insight? Uh, yeah, sure. Makes sense. <laughs> Shaman. Only Army could tell that he may not be telling the truth. Armin pulls out his sword and goes, Smashy. Shh. Pulls it out, is a smash liar. No, Smashy, Smash Giver! Smash Giver. You're lying. Is he just, as he's just staring at, staring daggers at this goblin? Smashy, not lying. Smashy, then you've been engaged too long. We, we just got here. Hear. <laughs> uh, Smashy's like, fuck. Smashy, thank you. Smashy, thank you. Here, way too long. <laughs> Smashy, go fuck. <laughs> Smashy's fucked. But Smashy's Armin better fuck. start telling. Smashy better start telling the truth before he gets smashed out of this plane of existence. <laughs> plane? Existence. Wait, what? What he say? I have hey, the power to existence. I have the power to banish you to it. The one of them. I have the power to banish you to the afterlife if I so please. Then I'm, afterlife. I'm, te I'm technically not lying. I have the scroll of banishment. Hey, I can banish him to another plane of existence. Basically, um, you, put, you guys, put, <laughs> you, guys you, you. you guys, hang on, you got because you guys, you guys see Armin just kind of. Turning his head in confusion to the side of it. <sighs> Cave madness! Cave disease! He have cave disease! Something is... He's like looking at the group, he says, Something's telling me to trust him. Cave disease! Symptoms! Confusion! Ooh, goblins get it bad! Goblins get it bad! They go feral! We're not going anywhere until you tell us the truth. No, no, they go nowhere. You go Ludyville. You, you said that there was a... You said that there was a black pudding and a white bone creature. White crab creature, yes. Also, if you want to roll the inside of the Cape Madness thing. Sure. Uh, might sure. Have just for funsies. Nope. You, no, you got... It's a real thing, guys. 18. It's a real thing. All of All us? Yep, everyone, it's a real thing. Hey, uh, Lippy just oh, raises no. her eyebrow. It's like, huh. Perhaps, but. Go where did you say? Where did they go? I said Lippia, not Luca. Bless. Anyways, <laughs> go, anyways, real quick. Yes, yes, Cave Madness. What an afflicted goat sick. Insane. Where, Lose his mind. Where did those things go? Hmm? 
He's, he's, he was saying he said, "Where did the uh, where did the black pudding and the and the, the <laughs> crack creature go?" <laughs> I'm gonna insight see if he's telling the truth about that. Just for fun. Nineteen. He's telling the truth. What the fuck does this thing have like oh, insane so. deception, or we're just being stupid? <laughs> so we go right. No. Well, if he's a he could. No, Fred's not there. Like he... That lead to dead um, end. Danger, danger. More crap things got... came from that way originally. Hmm. Uh, Armin says. Armin looks at Omen and goes, "Have Sai check the caves again." You can. Uh, you can roll insight if you want. By the way, on yeah, that last. I will. Uh, I'm just gonna send Sai on his own this time. Yeah, twelve. He be lying about the danger thing. He does not want you to go that way. Uh, we should go. Well, that way. let me rephrase that. He's not totally lying about the danger thing. He just doesn't want you to go that way. We should go that way. Let's go that way. Before we yeah, go, let's go that way. Before we jump the gun, let's have Omen use Psy to check the caves because yeah. right. you can see through his eyes. Correct. Yep, as long as he's within a hundred feet. All right, give me a sec. I'll show you what you can see with Psy because some things you can't see. Ooh. Uh, uh, oh, we right. made There doesn't Never seem to be... Played. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room. However, if it goes up, it'll find these weird, like, five, seven feet long white crab-like creatures. Ooh. Ooh. I'm in relays. Yeah. He's not like, completely lying about the crabs. No, only lie about crabs in bed. I do not think about that. What goblin break? Goblin break. Put crabs in pillow. Pitchy, pitchy, pitchy. I don't like him. He's being annoying. <laughs> Can I, I smash him now? Someone pinch his mouth shut for me. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, Lippy <laughs> uses psychic whispers on Smash. He's like, be quiet. Don't say a word. Oh, wait, you do that? Yes, oh, I do. You hear his thoughts. Get the okay, like I'm getting them to go left. Let's ambush them. Okay, they will be great food. Oh, oh. wait. Oh, oh. Give me this. Give me this. Just what? Glares at him. Can Can Roger try and smash his head in? Uh, you roll, don't know what you're saying, but uh, uh, I mean. <sighs> Yeah, Lippy has not shared it yet, though. So, Lippy, what do you do? Hey, I won't. I won't summon go. a psychic blade. Can't have this. Summon things. Can't have can this. Quickly stabs it in his throat. Roll initiative oh, because hey. you're not getting a surprise round on it. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay, what? initiative. What Bar Bar guest. Right. I rolled Next better two. this time. I rolled decent. <laughs> I actually won't oh, be last. Poor, poor yeah. Lipia. Boggy. The one, the, the one who noticed that he was being freaking weird. The one that noticed that he was, you know, probably trapping us. Ooh. So I can roll a natural 20. Oh, I uh, thought it was... I thought uh, it was Anya has not rolled yet. Anya? It's new enough, but it's new. Uh, you are going first, Anya. Oh, Jesus, Anya. Good job. Uh, and that's it. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Sorry. All right, Anya, what are you gonna do against this thing? Hello there, buddy. Yeah. Hello, sliced bread, sliced dog. Um, he's, How about he's... you go diggy darn back to hell? <laughs> not an accurate. That was a crummy jumper. Not an accurate. Wait, wait, wait what? Be a crummy juncture. I'm gonna rage. <laughs> Junction, junction. And I'm going to smack him with my stick. Roll ahead with stick. Beat him. Beat him with stick. 24 and 18. Those hit. Yoink. Yeah. Yoink. How much damage? Oh. A lot. I cannot see. Uh, 30, 38 Ow. points of damage. Okay, Ow. I need to touch. Ah! 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 Fuck it, the dick is up! Down. I did 
Selka, it is their turn. They're just gonna use chain. I didn't put a type of damage in here. Fuck. What, what did he say? Yeah, slashing. Damn it, the, uh, the, 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 the jig is up. The jig is up. Oh, the jig is up. I'm like, I'm like, what? All right, Selka <laughs> just hits. She no. deals. Beat him. Six. Eight points of damage. Nice. All right, except you notice that the lightning doesn't seem to... I believe... One second, let me double check. Yeah, the lightning doesn't seem to take as much damage as you would think. Okay. Oh, boy. Lightning damage. Uh, Omen, uh, your turn. Oh. Yeah, Fuck. I'm gonna stab stab because this guy's basically tricked me into standing Psy off on his own. Their own. That's a miss. Yeah, it misses. <gasps> that one sixteen misses. Really, this guy's at least seventeen AC. Mhm. Mm That's kind of annoying. He, he, he has skin. That's it. He has been hit pretty hard too. But also, what are you guys' ace? Or by the way, what are you guys' passives? Oh, my uh, is 19. Currently 12. 13. Because I'm not on my shoulder. 13, homie. You guys don't notice this. Is that your turn, Omen? Oh. Yeah, that's all I can do. Huh. I don't have any it's your turn. We'll go right behind him. Get flank. Hunters mark him. Smash. All right. Slap a bitch. All right, roll to hit. My shooting stick. 23. That hits. Beat him. Oh, shit. 23. 15, 24. 24. Hit. Points of damage with the first attack. Second attack. 24. That hits. Remember, you don't get... Yeah, okay. 10. 10. He's, he's still up. Jesus. Jesus. Third. Third. How's he four. looking? Rough. Very rough. Hey. <laughs> well, Roger's gonna come up and be like... Hello, Smashy. Meet Beatrice. <laughs> I still love me Beatrice. All right. <laughs> Just goosh. Don't kill him. Dad matches. Oh, hey, one off. Be 13. He is still up. Uh, second attack. Beatrice. <laughs> Hits. Oh. And as you do, you hit him super hard. Killing <laughs> him. But as he dies, he turns into this. Yeah! What, what in the, the nine hells is that? And it, it erupts, it, and it and it erupts in flames before it disappears. However, there's more. Oh wait, there. did I literally send her back to hell? It's a fiend. <laughs> oh man! I sent her back to hell. This thing rolled a twenty-seven on itself, so it's going to attack you, seek attack, so Oh, this is going oh, to happen. Actually, no. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. Yeah. It's going to bite attack you. No. That is going to be a 25 to hit you. That hit. I don't know about that one. You are going to take... Please don't want We didn't those. see anything down this way. Seven slashing at. damage. Oh. Only seven. That's not too bad. All right, I'm going to roll initiative for it. Ah, son of a... By the way, it doesn't seem to be leaving footprints. Huh. It's using your is trick that... against you, Armin. Oh, Hey! Oh, you <laughs> that's why. You... Is there oh. anything up this way, by the way? Not that we can. That play. I saw. Nope. No, at least no. It's just a dead end. Of course, we got a twenty well, fucking two on its initiative. Yep. Smashy go. Smash. All right. Smashy go. What, <laughs> what the hell are these things? Uh, everyone, nature it... check. Actually, nature or religion of your choosing. Both. Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I, but if the, you said this is a fiend, correct? Yes. I get advantage because favorite enemy. Fair enough. Well, I mean, you. I mean, you're, you. you gotta, Anya, yeah, these gotta... these are fire goblins. They they hide their shape and eat their own kind in cannibalism, a disgraceful tactic for any prideful hunter. Armin, this is a bar guest. It is a it is a fiend, a goblin fiend that eats at other goblins. Hmm. They can, they're spellcasters, and they can change their shape to pretend to be a small goblin. They're, so they're, so they're liars. Changers. Yep, they're liars. They also, like, are probably one of the smartest goblin types out there. 
Yep, Lippy, it's your turn. Spellcasters. Ah. I, I, I don't get to use my bonus action or nothing? I noticed that the first one Wait, came on. in, in flames. That was... Well, were you going to... I, the thing was revealing itself at the end of your turn. Were you going to use your bonus action for anything? Uh, no, never mind. I didn't. I didn't know if, it, if I thought it was like doing it like nope. midway through. Nope, myself. it would be at the end. So, Lipia, it is your turn. <sighs> you all smell delicious. Oh, also, shoot. fun fact, Armin, for you, fun fact, because you got a saw twenty, I'll give this to you. If you can get it in flames that are at least ten feet high or wide, it, it's it could be sent back to where it came from. Hmm. Yep. Good luck getting that. That hits. Back, uh, bud, my devilish mantle's a 10 foot radius. Do you want to waste it on that, though, is the question. Anyways. Oh, no, I'm not going not to at the start. Maybe in the case of beat the shit That matches. Out of that matches. All right. So you just, just beat the shit out of it. <laughs> and he says that, you smell delicious. You hear Omen go, oh, shove it, Brian. Anya, it's your turn. Uh, One of these dishonorable hunters who sold the name of what it means to be in a pact. Has arrived. Kill. Maim. Murder. Yeah. Uh, are you, if you're speaking, Allison, we can't hear you. I'm not speaking. I'm just going to move. Okay. Here. Slap. Yeah. Okay. Roll and the I hit. Take that right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Ha -ha. Beat him up. Slap. Hits. Hits. 10. 28 points of damage. It's still up. It's out. It's turn. I'm going to use my claw. Okay, go use claw. 24 hits. However, it's not magical. So as you slash it, it doesn't do as much as you were hoping. I'm angry. I'm angry. It is a fiend. Also, speed which it's its turn. Anya, I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw. How Oh, fuck. Wisdom save. Okay. Oh my god, you pass. You hear it. You hear it speak to you. You hear it in your mind. Wouldn't your friends taste delicious? Ugh. What? No. As Roderick's sitting there picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ew. Not She's gross. like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, does he look delicious now? <laughs> you look devilishly delicious. So I'm really? Right. Yeah, I'm right. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He's not, he's, he's, he's not eating the boogers. All right, Selica's turn. And ate that image. Thank you very much. He's looking at that guy. Selica's gonna use Moonbeam. Oh. Beam the bit. All right, I'll roll con save for him. I guess it's fiend because it's a it's a shape changer. No, it's not. It's a fiend. Oh, it is a shape changer. Mind. It actually is a shape changer. Yeah, remember it could polymorph. Yeah, however, it failed already, so it doesn't matter. All right, Selica. You deal. Though, pretty sure Moonbeam specifically only has advantage against creatures with the Shape Changer subtype. It does have the Shape Changer subtype. Does it really? Yes! Fair enough, rather than it just innately casting yeah. Oh my god, that's Max! <laughs> no, it's not Max. That's not Max. Yeah, it oh. is. Oh, then yeah, I don't know why I rolled twice. No, it was. Alright, so... <laughs> Woo I'm going to... Okay, you know what? I'm going to technically count this... Because technically, Radiant is just holy fire. I will technically count this. I need it. It needs to make a charisma saving throw. Fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it, fail it. fails it. You watch as this portal opens up and it's sucked back into whence it came. As it goes back in, I'm just weird it. Bye bye. We tried to warn you. What a word. Alrighty. So with that, combat's over. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, also, so I is, I is flapping back to me as fast as he can. As um, um, Lipia just chuckles and says, "Sorry, I didn't tell you, but um, he wasn't telling us the truth whatsoever." We can tell that now. All right. So, do you guys wish to continue? Army, your pass without trace is still technically active. Yeah, technically. Yeah. Can confirm he wasn't lying about the white crabs in that direction. Well, I get the feel, though. Um, and you would remember he didn't want us to go that way. <laughs> no, he did not. So, do you guys go that way? Yeah. Everyone. Do, is there anything else on this side if you if you use side, just in case? We know where the black pudding is in that direction. Yep. Too bad you can't see it. 
Can't see it now, but we know it's in that direction. Yep. I'm not going to have Spy go any further than that. I don't want to risk him getting caught. All right. Uh, everyone will stealth check if you want to do this stealthily. Because Black That's Pudding is stealth. 35, 20, 31, 33. 15. Yeah, 28. Stealth. stealth, motherfucker. Yep, obviously. Um, I've got a, stealth, motherfucker. a level of exhaustion. Right, right. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for being honest about that. Still 28. Uh, I'm not 27 for Selka. You have 27 about that. Um, okay. You guys managed to I... sneak in pretty stealthily. Uh, you go through this room no problem, and now you're in the room where the cave fishers are. The what side Ooh. are you? Cave fishers. Yep. Something. I don't know. Where <laughs> I go? Uh, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I don't like what's, uh... what's dripping down their mouths. That thing. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. That's preposcus, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, to me, it looked like they were spitting something. There are the three lighthouse. in the room. That doesn't mean there aren't more. How would you guys like to handle this? <laughs> That's a good question. They look like scorpions now that I look at them. Yeah. They're weird. Anyways. They look like heavens uh, more than anything, though. It, so it's not... No, I have not theory. Uh... F, is there like what is that stuff there's a it's like a goop dripping is it actively is that like an act of goop dripping from their mouth or is that just like roll a nature check to see if you know what these are first off nope all of us ten. 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 All of us. Oh, Wait, you guys. Do, these count, do these count as monstrosities yes well, a technically advantage because of because i because monstrosity is one of my still know what they are so, well, anya you know what they are it's worth a shot What'd they be? Oh. Okay, oh, Anya, these be. are white lobsters. They are spider-like lobsters that have an adhesive that they can spew out. They Their oh. prime target strategy is when they know prey is nearby, they climb up and then web them from below and then drop them. Um, Should we look up to the roof in that room? If you want to. I mean, I'm going to relay this information. She, she will relay it. Mm -hmm. I will look up. Perception. With sigh on my shoulder, this is plus five to whatever I roll. Fifteen. There doesn't seem to be any on top right now, even to you, Anya. Okay. I don't suppose I can at least try and... Sure. I'll try and roll a perception just in case. I mean, I don't. I'm not there don't seem to be any on top right now. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to roll any higher than you guys. You guys are cool. Maybe, maybe he's actually telling the truth, and there aren't any up there. Just, I know. I still just wanted to. I yeah. So should we it's, just it's, you never blow these say people out of the? Should we just go and blow these things out? Of I know nothing. Hang on. Hang on. Does Anya? Does did Anya tell us anything about these things? She said she relayed the information. I relayed the information, so they they have the sticky goo adhesive stuff. Is there any sticky goo on the ground that we can see near them? Yes, it's kind of dripping out of their mouths. Gross. Okay. Is, so, it, like, is it like anywhere in the path towards them at all? Just like, Not really, no. Like, not, no, not with your village checks, no. I still suggest we try and stay at range. Okay. You could also just not bite mm -hmm. them. You can just, like, avoid the sticky goo on the bottom, on the floor, and then walk around. I didn't want us to go this way for a reason. That's his friend was waiting in an ambush on the other side, or because there's something important here I want to find out. Yeah. You can avoid the goo and the webbing. I just say, yeah. Okay, I have an idea. Question, Alex. Uh huh? Is this an opening over here to the far left, or is that just, uh... What Sai would have seen something if there was, or that's just a dead end. It leads to a path. There's definitely something but... down there. Sai wouldn't be able to get much further because. However, that's the area that he together. wanted you to go. Remember, that's the area that Smashy wanted you to go. I thought he wanted us to go over here. No, he said don't. No, yeah, that's left. what I'm saying. Left. He said left. That's what I'm saying. He so like you guys are on the path he didn't want you to go on. Yeah, that's what we're saying. So there's... yeah. Either, either he just he either he didn't want us to go this way because his friend was waiting in ambush on the other. 
or there's some important this way, or both. Or, or he was just fucking with us. Well, we we know his friend was waiting in ambush on the others. Yeah. I think. Hmm. What do you want to do? How do you, do you guys want to continue forward? Do you want to attack the cave fisher? What do you want to do? Huh. I think we should deal. At least, I think we should deal with the black pudding first. That's definitely the greater threat. I have an idea. Is there a way that we can lead these things towards the black pudding? They might be friends for all we know. Uh, theoretically, you would need like something that has their sense, and those go goblin bodies were burned up from acid. Ani would know that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's, do you go back to get one of the goblin bodies? I'll go back and get one of the goblin bodies. All right. Roll an athletics so or throw it into the room, and then roll a stealth to see how well you stealthily do it. Okay. You managed to throw it in there. Now roll stealth. We pass it out twice. That's yep. what Tracy. Twice. <laughs> they don't. They don't know you. We should probably hide somewhere. Yeah. Yep. yeah probably not. And. Against the wall. Ooh. Oh, that's a weird noise. They seem to go to this area to investigate. And now we follow behind. Keep a distance. Wait. Oh, you guys are going to follow the cave fishers? No, oh, yeah, we probably run past. Yeah, go. Go. Run past. Go. Right, I'm just gonna hide. Yep, just did. on this tide wall. Omen sticking to the corners in case there is one waiting on the sea. Everyone roll yeah. stealth again. Yay! Stealth check in the room. Thirty-one. Bless you. Bless you. Yep. Thirty-one. Okay. Thirty-two. <laughs> All right. Seems to be clear sailings ahead. Hey, it looks like a looks like a stomach. It does a bit, doesn't it? I assume all it's this is clear. Uh, as far as you can tell, yes. So we can just go like pew. We can start making our way before. Making your way. That's why no, I asked no, the no, way no. it was clear. Uh, yeah, as far as you can as far as you can tell, it is clear. So we cool. get to this stomach and then we'll can I roll a perception check at all to see if there is anything here? Sure, yeah, roll it. Just, just for funsies. Natural 20! There seems to be something moving in the walls. Oh, wait, you don't notice anything. I, he, he, he just, like, like, puts his, he, like, puts his hands out. Everyone, stop. It's actually moving right towards where Armin's heading. Oh, shit. Oh, you don't notice it. Uh, Armin's yeah. gonna try and jump out of the, like, try and move out of the way if anything that might bust out of the wall. Uh, as you do, you watch as ooze begins to slip out. Fuck the black pudding. Alright, roll it. Alright, you guys are already in initiative, time to roll it. Armin, because you got, fuck? Armin, because of this, you did, it did not get that surprise round. Oh my god. What Thanks, Armin. Perception check. Alright, I... I Anya, it's your turn. You like Armin points out. You see this, you see it. Ew, Ooh, the black pudding. Wonder how I it don't tastes. Want to touch that. Disgusting. <laughs> Probably very bitter. But I you taste saying, the black. So let me let me right say this. You taste it's made the black out of pudding. Yahoo. You now long. You taste the black pudding. You now no longer have yeah. taste buds. Ew. It's like you just hear. Shut up. Okay, you attack with Howling Stick. Yes, it's magical, magical, so it should be immune to it. It's magical, bruh. It's a magical stick. So, eh. Eh. I did rage. I, I, I did say rage, but there you go. Okay. So, one second, let me double check the reading. Is magic stick. It should not. Okay, stick. it does not. Alright. Yeah. Uh, I'm staying away from it, so I'm using my reach. All right, one second. Putting is enough times. Okay, give me a sec. I had to do some health calculations here. So <laughs> minus fourteen, <laughs> minus four, minus fourteen. 
Wait, what damage type does that do? Slashing. Oh yeah, you loud. yeah. Uh, on you, you slash into it. It just reforms as you do so. Oh, it's completely. It doesn't take any damage. It take nothing. <sighs> I can't do uh, anything then. Was it what I was worried about? No slashing damage. Hmm. I actually forgot. Is it immune to slashing damage? I actually forgot about. I think it's it is. Yeah. It is. It. It doesn't seem to take any damage. Yeah, well, like... that means that Beatrice will be useless. Celica, it's your turn. Back. I'm gonna try something here and see how this works. Okay, I... okay so what are we fighting exactly? A black pudding. Black okay, so Matt, you know the Venom symbiote? Sort of like that, aesthetically, as this black ooze is moving around. Like, it's super long and, like, it seems aesthetic. Can Celica roll a nature check to see if they know any information on what a black pudding is? Uh, sure. I'll roll it for you. Celica, you are a genius. Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, Celica, you roll a... That's cool. You don't know anything oh, about it. One. You don't know one. anything about well, it. Not one. Celica is going to do the only thing that Celica knows how to do. Well, <laughs> okay. Wait, how many spells? How many spell slots does Celica have left? Uh, three first, two second, one third. Celica's gonna whack it with their scythe. It's you mean your, your chain sickle? Does your sickle? Yep. Yeah. Before you do, does oh, your sickle do? Well, it also does lightning damage, so it might work. All right, thirteen hits. Oh, it's the it deals slashing or bludgeoning. Uh, I don't know why that's the case. Uh, I guess you do bludgeoning. What for the scythe? The scythe should only deal slashing damage. It says slash slashing slash bludgeoning. So. Oh, because it's a it's a freaking what's it called? It's a kudisagama. It has a weight on the other side, doesn't it? Yeah, So would you like to do bludgeoning? Uh, so because you've already seen that you've already seen that slashing does fuck all to this thing. Salika. Hmm. Would you like to do bludgeoning? Because it seems like it's immune to slashing. Oh, then yes. Hey, bludgeoning. Alright, you deal 8 points of damage to it. Oh, I'm man, it's your turn. Oh, phew. I'm silently over here shitting bricks. Yes, yes, yes. Anyways. Uh, I'm going to. I don't want to do this. I really don't want to be a melee range of this thing. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna action disengage and run away because fuck if I'm getting in close to that thing. Okay. Army, it's your turn. I have mage armor, but I don't uh, want to have my clothes melted off. I, you know, because I have a long sword. I can assume that I have a flat, a flat side of this thing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Can I try and hit it with the flat, with the flat side of the blade? To do, to well, here's the thing. Your crystal sword doesn't do slashing damage, does it? Yes, it does. It does radiant as well, it though. It does slashing and radiant damage. All right. Uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> so, like, he just twists, he just twists, twists the uh, the blade to the side to try and hit it with the side of it instead. I'll move in. I have... I did not Hunter's Mark. I did not... I should have called that, but either way... This thing did take damage, so it does better. Awesome. Should have cast Hunter's Mark. I don't have one spell. I only have one first level left. I'm gonna, probably going to save it for the okay. third level. Either way. All right. Roll to hit. 14. Hits. So it takes uh, 12 bludgeoning just for the just for the sake of this. Uh, two Radiant and three Colossus Slayer on it. Which is also bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah, would have counted. Uh, second attack. 12? Hits. 12 hit? Okay, uh, 7 bludgeoning and 4 radiant. Okay. 
No. Unless it's unless it happens. Unless Roderick, it, happens it is your turn. The radio. I have. Uh, I don't know. For, I can't remember for certain, but I'm pretty sure this thing has low HP, but it has it has a lot of resistances. It has immunity, and it has fuck tons of health. Yep. Anyways, uh, Roderick, what do you want to do? Well, uh, I'm first gonna change the warhammer into the spear. Okay. So that it's magic. So that it's magical. Darn. Okay. okay. I will I'm move up right beside. I will move up to Armin, and I will try to poke at it with my spear. All right, go. Ha! That hits. Natural 20, nice. Okay. Uh, do anything. I will poke at it again. Go ahead. What did you say, Fury? Did the poking do anything? Yes. It was sapped. Poking. I didn't like I'm it. 21 hits. 20... Yeah, 21 As you can hits. see, I can't remember all the resistances of a black pudding. Uh, no. And honestly, it's also better. Would I, would I be able to, to stab at it again? Uh, no, because you would need your bonus action, unless you want to use Beatrice for that. Uh, I, do I have, I thought I had my bonus the action. Bonus action specifically states you need to be using offhand. a weapon in your offhand. other hand. It's the offhand weapon. Uh, That's in your main hand, you're using it as a main hand weapon right now, so, unfortunately, no. That'd be a tricky. That's up to you if you want to risk that. No, I don't want, well, All right, no, because it's master class, so he's just going to poke, poke, and be like, all right, in that case, if, if that's your turn, oh, then comes up, now comes the bad pop. Mm, don't touch me. All right, don't touch me. Are you slashing with Beatrice? No, no, no. God All right, no. in that case, it's mm. the Black Pudding's turn. It's going to attack you, Roderick, because you just did the most damage to it. This is going to hurt. That is a soft 20 to hit you. Yeah, that matches. Your armor has a minus one penalty to it. <gasps> no! So you're saying I have a 19? It magical? Mithril is main things. It technically isn't magical. Oh, so then he's so then he's got a nineteen instead of a twenty. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. You're gonna take nine bludgeoning damage. Okay. Now this is the part that's actually gonna hurt. Yeah. So oh, damage. No. Oh boy. No, you have no idea. I don't. 13, I'm scared. Eighteen. I don't like that. Twenty-two I'm... points of acid damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Stop that. So that you said twenty-two. Yep, twenty-two has the damage along with the nine, so thirty-one. Um, hey guys, <laughs> I'm in pain. Also, that reminds wait, me. Wait, hold on. You took damage. How much also, did you take? Also, Armin, that reminds A me. A lot. Yes. How much did you take? 31. I took 31. Okay, I'm going to use my reaction, and I'm going to use uh, shield, spirit shield. Alright, roll 2d12, and add that back to your HP. 2d6. Or 2d6, my bad. 2d6. Alright, add 7 back to your HP. Anyways, uh, real quick, for those who attacked in melee, Armin, uh, you're going to take 10 points of acid damage. What? Why do I take damage? Anytime you hit it within 5 feet of it, you take damage. Wow, okay. Libya, yeah. it's your turn. White puddings really, really suck. Yeah, it looks uh, like it. I could have done something. Uh, well, not really. I didn't then, have to be that close. I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna throw my socket blades at it. Alright, for real, take it. Hits. A ten, a ten? Yes, that hits. These things have absolutely terrible AC. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's just their second attack their with the bonus. Oh no. Yeah. Nothing bad happens. Okay. 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 Our, our is your turn. Brain yeah, that's my Anya, turn. it's your turn. I literally can't do anything to it. I literally uh. can't do anything to it. <laughs> you could whack unless it. I wanna, unless I want to bite it, but I don't want to bite it. I mean, you could also whack it. it. I'll treat that as bludgeoning damage because you can't kind of whack it with it. I'd argue you could use yeah. your glaive as a quarter staff. Just use the other end and use it as a quarter. I'll just, I guess I could, I'll just flip it over and use yep. it as a... <laughs> okay, use the packet. <laughs> Roll the head. Are you going to reckless? No, okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't, I don't think yeah. so. It doesn't matter. It hits. Also, roll yeah, the first no. damage because it might not matter. Okay, so you know the it. Super Mario thing where he does the hammer and it's... Boop, 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 boop. That's what yeah, Anya does yeah. with the stick. Whack, 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 Until it's nothing. It's dead. No, you want to know what I uh. picture? You know, you know, like, 
like you take a stick and you slap water. Yeah. That's, that's literally what I do. Um, <laughs> everywhere. Uh, yeah. All right. G- combat's over. Would you guys yeah. continue? Yeah. I mean, just uh, kind of. I mean, just kind of looks at the rest of you. Yeah, those things suck. I was so. Yeah, just, that was a Project fucking Arm- clutch uh, perception check, right. by the way. Hella. Yeah. yeah. All right. Patrick still uh, is hurt, and I'm guessing. I'm guessing he still has the uh, the effect on his armor. Oh yeah. That's yep, that's permanent. Yeah, that's permanent, bud. Permanent. Yeah. It's yep. permanent. So now, you, now you got straight mithril. That's why, that is why, black pudding suck so much. Yep. Anyways, so you guys my, continue my onward, going. and uh, you find in this room an altar. To the side of it are eight marbles in like an indent that you can pick up. Oh, wait, boy, wait, 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 wait. A altar in the center with eight marbles surrounding it. Like there's a hole in the altar. Like it's sort of like that thing you put a marble in and like it goes down. Uh, one second. So let me get all my notes Alter, for this. Altar, eight marbles. Yep. There is an. Yep. Uh, I'm making it slowly. Uh, again, there are eight marbles, and on the door, right now, in highlights, are two things. In, in. Uh, primordial. Okay. I can Anyone read that. speak? Okay. I can read that. Think. Can. Can read. Uh, I can't not. reach. I can't reach yet. <laughs> All right. On it are two phrases. Oh wait, never mind. I can't Hang read on. either. So what the fuck? I can. I. Uh, All right, Armin. It says on there, the first phrase is "bad equals one." Bad it, equals one. Yep. And then it's uh, and then it's it's a picture, a showcase of a dragon wormling. Dragon wormling. Yep. What's the what's, does it does, is there a scale color at all just in case? Nope, it's just an outline. It's a glowing purple outline, and uh, again in glowing purple primordial runes on this uh, wall, bat equals one. Bat equals bat. T or B A D. Yeah, bat B A T. Bat equals one. There's a picture of a dragon. Now rumbling. here's what I'm going to do here. You may not Google anything, but I will allow you guys meta knowledge to figure this puzzle out. What's what the second you... phrase? Because there's, there's only... Sorry, there is no second phrase. Yep, you there said is a... there, there were two phrases. My, I misspoke. There was the one phrase, and then there's the picture. It's the picture of the dragon wormling. Like, uh, like if there is writing saying it's a dragon wormling, but that's it. Again, bat equals one. Bat equals one. There's a picture of a dragon wormling. Mm-hmm. It's glowing purple, correct? Yes. And it seems like... Bat equals there one. There are eight marbles... And it looks like they are supposed to go in the altar. What color are the marbles, real quick? Exactly. Uh, purple. The marbles in purple. They're all purple. They are purple. They are very small. They're like, you know, you pick it up with like two fingers. There's no distinguishing marks or anything on them? There is not, no. Farah. I will cautiously reach to touch one of the marbles. As you do, nothing seems to happen. I gently pick the marble up. Nothing seems to happen. And I look at the indent that it was in. It just rains an indent. There's nothing hidden underneath it. Uh, nope. Not that you can I see, anyways. Do, I will do this to every marble to make sure there's not, nothing hidden in the indent. Like, nothing Someone, seems to be hidden. Nothing does seem to be hidden. I'm not, not going to put anything in. I just wanted to check if there was any more information we All could right. get. Nope. Bat equals one. Picture of a dragon wormling. Is there any indents in the outline of the wormling? Uh, no. It is okay. just glowing runes. Like, it's not even carved into the wall. Again, you can use meta knowledge. You can't look it up, but you've got it, like, but you can use meta knowledge here. Bat equals one. Uh-huh. Hmm. Bat equals one. Bat equals one. Huh. Is it like oh boy the actual animal bat? It is spelled B A T according to you, Armin, based on the translation. Yeah. So, it, so he relays that he says it's it's a phrase in primordial. It says bat equals one. So that's where my marbles went. Yep, bat equals one, and it's a display of a dragon wormling. Like I said, you can use meta knowledge here, but you can't Google anything. 
You cannot look it up. You got to go based on memory on what you know as a player. And here's the problem. I'm terrible. Yep. I, can't I don't think I would. You. Yeah, she I knows know, the solution I... to this puzzle because I wanted to run it by someone. So, yeah, you guys have to figure this out. <laughs> and... And I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna be able to help at all. And honestly, anybody I'm want some red velvet help. macaroons? I'll okay. take one. Yeah, please. Well, too bad That's they're it. not yours. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, you know what, Snow? Screw you. I got cookie dough <laughs> ice cream. You know what? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Okay, you have my attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. At first, you had focus, my guy, Focus, guys. Focus. The problem is I have no I, I have no meta knowledge for any of this. Mm. You give me some macaroons, that. I'll give you some ice cream. Um, one bat. I tell think about your offer. Eight balls equals Craft. one. Bat Dragon equals one. Um. Mm. <laughs> Is there anything else in this room? Other than nope, just the altar, the ho the <laughs> hole down, like there's a hole in the center, well, and there is a eight marbles, and it's just what's on the stone. What do we know about dragon marbles? Well, they're all different for one. It doesn't uh, like it. It's not like you say dragon wormling. Yeah, great. Which one? They're all different. Oh, what, what, how many are there? Can I roll a history check to see if I can get any more hints to this? Or, like, based on knowledge, world knowledge. Uh, if you can roll intelligence, I guess. And I try, I'll try and roll an intelligence check just in yep. case. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ever gonna. It's after one, I don't know. Bats are bats, man. 13? Uh, bats, they have sonar. Uh, which, what are you trying to figure out more about? Bats or, uh, dragon worm lanes? Yeah, trying to one. consider how these two could possibly okay. relate. Wait a minute. Wait, what is a fury? I oh, know that can't, there's eight marbles, you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's not the answer. Okay, real quick, Selka, are you trying to figure out more about bats or worm lanes here? Well, kind of both, but more so on, okay. like, how... For bats, uh, they're small, winged creatures, like, you know, very tiny. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Are there any bats in the cave? Uh, not that you've seen, no. Uh. All right, real quick, to continue, they have echolocation, you know, they, uh, they eat meat, they're, uh, winged vermin, you know. That equals one. <laughs> Well, if there were roll another there intelligence there check for a dragon wormling. I want to roll. Doing something I'm gonna roll unique. two, just cause fuck it. Uh, it speak to animals. Uh, and it's twelve. That makes sense. You know, they're dragons, like roughly the size of people. Like if you like whiff wise, you know, stuff like that. They're different. You're not sure of the differences. You just know that they're basically babu dragons, kid dragons. My only guess is that you know. Wait, bat equals one. I don't that dragon wormlings are like medium creatures. I mean, they take up one space, but that, that I mean, I know that's about it. Elka has a, a uh, draconic has a scroll, but I don't think that's gonna actually do anything. Bat equals one. Would you like to use that, by the way, while they're thinking of the puzzle? I was about to say, no. aren't, aren't pseudo dra wait, aren't pseudo dragons really small, like the size of bats? Uh, I can't no. go fuck it all. I mean, are they as small as... Uh, really well, nature check, I guess, for that. Okay. 19. Uh, they're about as small as bats, yeah. They are a tiny creature. Is there any way we can just bust through the wall like the Kool-Aid Man? Uh, the last wall in the dungeon, the dungeon hurt you when you touched it, so... Yeah, touched it. Yeah. So. 
So let's I not. I think we've got our answer, though. I don't, well, I, mean, say that. I don't know if it is. I'm just guessing. What do you okay. think the answer is, Richard? Uh, I mean, either one of two things. We either cast the spell using the familiar we spell. We cast the spell, the, that fine familiar spell, or we put the scroll in the altar. But I also don't know because there's a bunch of marbles, too. Yeah, it's got everything to do with the, the marbles. Uh, shit. I feel like I feel like we should use this spell. Use that spell. What are you laughing at? Nothing. She knows the truth. She can't help us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Anyways, like... would you guys like to use the scroll? I mean, no. So no, Stella not gonna hand over the scroll. No, I mean to use it to summon the familiar. No. All right. Then. It a one... It's a one-time use. I'm assuming. Well, yeah, sort it. of. Once she uses Listen, it, basically she can I am summon saying that this now, the only way Celica's going to use it, that scroll is if someone pry it from their cold, dead hands. Well, no, I'm asking if Celica wants to use the scroll to no, like, summon the familiar. No, Celica's not going to use the scroll. Any particular reason? Because Celica wants to do research on the scroll before she does anything else with you had, it. You know what? You had a flipping pseudo dragon familiar. Actually, and Celica hasn't even seen a familiar before. Actually, uh, well, aside from, you did uh, have downtime uh, yesterday. Roll a uh, nature check since you uh, researched. Like, you know, because you did have that time to do it. I mean, still. Gonna... Oh my god, natural 20. So, familiars are basically loyal servants to the people who summon them. They're not really free will beings. Rather, they are spirits from a certain lineage. Uh, in particular, because of the natural 20, you beat the 25 threshold. This particular one was probably written by a greater dragon, like the most powerful form of dragon there could possibly be. But it can't be chromatic or metallic. Oh. Well, Celica's definitely not going However, to However, let me finish. Using it is not any sort of offense. It's meant to be used. Basically, whoever has it gets favor with whoever made it, basically. That's the thing. Celica's not going to use it. All right. Why? It's going to have no other use. You've already researched it. This thing could solve the puzzle and actually get us somewhere. This could be the key to everything. I mean, we can't really pull No, up, there is. So... I'm, I'm, I hear you I'm, fuckers chuckling in the background. I'm not actually saying. All right. Uh, also, this is the only type of familiar to be dragon. It's a draconic gift. So, like I said... There is really no harm in using it. If anything, it gets you favored with the dragon, so. Well, we're not, I mean, we're not really meeting any dragons anytime soon, so. Celica's not going to use the scroll. You, uh, all right. So what are you guys thinking? Think of here. I don't know. I don't want to put any marbles. Like, is it a, like, is it just an empty altar? Is it is it glowing? Is it flaming? Anything? Nope. And to reaffirm once again, the runes are purple. Yes, in primordial. And the outline of the dragon wormling is also purple. What is the shape of like? You know, well, no, there's no holes, are there? There's a hole in the center of the altar. That is it. How big is the hole? Enough to probably fit, like, a few marbles in there. Well, we got a magical blunt. Uh, um, hold on. Actually, couldn't... Celica's going to investigate the altar. Real roll investigation. The actual That's scroll weird. itself can't fit in there, for starters. Uh... A tiny creature theoretically could. The marbles definitely could. It seems like, uh... It seems based on how you look at this mechanism, whenever the marbles, like when anything goes in, it will probably put, be put back out. Are you casting Moonbeam on it? No, 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 I'm not, no. Fuck this um, thing, Moonbeam. <laughs> All right, but Question. it seems like the, the dragon, marbles will always come the dragon back. Worm, the dragon worm lane, is, is there any more details to be gained from that? Nope, no, it's oh. just the outline of hmm. a small, like, you know, a very young dragon, like a very small dragon. Like, the yeah, legs are not as big. 
there's no defined characteristics to inform you of what kind of dragon this is. Right. Okay, right. that's what we wanted that's to what know. We're trying to get to. Thank mm -hmm. you. That was game there. Okay, anyways. Again, a tiny creature could feel. You could always put. I oh, don't know about. He said. Uh, this how big is I? Hmm. How big is I? It's. Sai? Uh, I think Ravens are tiny creatures. Tiny. Yeah, pretty sure he is tiny. I think Ravens are we tiny. We could try putting Sai inside of it. You can go fuck yourself. Hey, just, it's an option. Just use the scroll! You did your goddamn research on it! And it's permanent! Wait, it's permanent? No, yeah, Maxi. when you summon it, it's permanent. Yeah, but yeah. no backseat gaming. That's their choice. Ah. Something I could do, I'm going to but it's it going gonna take a plunge. To um, what do you mean uh, inside? Take a You're gonna do it inside? No. No. I mean, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and attempt to solve the puzzle. Okay, what are you gonna do? I can't believe I'm doing that. She's gonna pick up five of the marbles. And drop them in the hole. As you do, you are going to take. Yeah, I figured that was a yeah, lot of fucking damage. Five, eight, eleven points of force damage. <laughs> well, that clearly isn't the answer. Can I sleight of hand the scroll from Silica? And no. I don't believe I'm even suggesting think... this. I don't think you even know she has it. Uh, uh, I think equals one. <laughs> Jacob, Aselka told the party she has this scroll. Aselka has not told the party. Then, no, you never mind. then no, you cannot. Armin does, but... And also, it doesn't seem like the scroll would fit anyway, so putting that in there does not seem like the answer. Yeah, we've got that. that. Equals one. My, there, there's also something that I can think is just like, if we, if we're able, if Selica does decide to summon it, have, have, I don't know, maybe put it, put one, uh, one of them in like also by the way as the that changes as that happens the form on the wall changes and it's now the outline of a bar guest what what is it, a bar guest it's it, a goblin we it earlier. So yeah it, so it it changed. i wasn't so here it, i'll send you an image jacob so it changed from a dragon wormling to a bar guest yep after the failed attempt, it seemed no. to have changed. Does it still, does it still say bat equals one? Yes. And the only thing words that have changed is uh, the, t the you know like the subtitle for it. Basically, it doesn't say dragon wormling. It says bar guest. Here, this is what they look like. If wait, wait, wait. if a bar guest is a fiend, let me th oh, let me try something just in case. I'm a fiend. He's going to take a single this is just a shot in the dark. He's going to take a he's going to take a single marble and he's going to put it in. Oops. You're going to take just wanted to see how that would work. One fire damage. Oh. Ah. And as you do that, in his face. the form once again changes to a into an ancient dragon. Oh no, my bad, a flump. It changes into a flump. What is what's a, what's a flump? Basically, it's, it's a uh, weird floating. Okay, imagine floating gel jellyfish, but like, but like, uh, with like pole sticks with eyes, and they have these like weird tentacles, and they're just really cute. Okay, okay so I, I hate these the, puzzles. The, Fuck you. I told so you. The dragon, bad. the dragon wormling did force damage. This one did fire damage, damage, which was a fiend. This could do lightning damage, for all we know. Lightning. Or thunder, mm. one of the two. Oh well. How many do you want marbles do you want to put in this time? It does seem like putting marbles in is the right way to mm. go. It's just you got to get the right amount. It seems. Yeah. Bat equals giving us very one. little as to what. Bat equals Bat one. Bat equals one. Wait wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. What? Bat equals one. Bat's a tiny creature. It could be referring to the actual sizes of them. If you want to think about do, that. Do you know what the sizes of a bat? Tiny. tiny. So there's they're tiny, tiny, 
Is there? It's a small, what are the tiny, tiny small, small, medium, large, medium, huge, huge, gargantuan. That's six. And there's eight marbles. It can't be that. It needs to be something with eight variable. Or hmm. unless. Wait, how, how how do you spell gargantuan? Or the or the the the. Because we have uh, gargantuan is spelled nine letters. Just in case you're wondering. Okay, so it's not that. Never mind. I really do think that it's referring to the size. And I think that we should have probably put three in at the start. The size of a... So we're looking at a flump, and it is considered... What is its size? Yeah, no one Google. No one Google. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not Googling. I, I have... You guys have encountered them uh, in the previous campaign. I, 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 size. I don't know what their size is. Roll a nature check. Uh, Here's a problem. Roll a nature check. Do they count as monstrosities at all? Uh, technically. Or are there aberrations? They're more aberrations. No, I don't they are think. small. They are a small creature. Okay. How, what's the size? Oh, a dragon wormling wasn't small. Is a dragon wormling small? Dragon wormling is a medium creature. I'm going to try. I'll put two marbles in. See how that works. All right. As you do, the form turns green and then it shifts to another one. Oh, oh okay. the one. I told you. I told you guys to feel dumb. Next is an ancient dragon. Gargantuan. Dragons are gargantuan. I think that's six. The marble right? comes back up. The marble comes back up. Uh, all right, do you guys put six marbles in? Yes. Yeah. It has to be seven. All right, yeah. you put six in. The form glows green. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Oh my God. <laughs> the next, the next one is the form of a cyclops. Uh, what are those things? I think a cyclops are... is huge. Yeah, um, so the cyclops are huge. They're four? not gargantuan. Yeah, I think cyclops is a huge. Either, either huge or large, but I think they're huge. Can we roll a I, nature I, check just in case? Sure. Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, huh, natural I'm just, They are huge creatures. Yeah, that's huge, five, so that's then. five. Do you put I'm five of no in? use because I have I have no idea what the sizes are. All right, do you put five in? Yes. As you do, the form glows green. It goes back. Two dragon wormling. Three. Uh, yeah, Alright, as you do so, it finally it goes back to the final form, Bar Guest. Those oh, are four. large, so four. Alright. As you do, the door the stone wall moves and it opens. I can't believe that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it stopped all of you. Well, here's yeah, the problem. I, 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 I feel like my st I feel like the a genius and the biggest idiot at the same time for running through this dungeon because I came up with good strategies and stupid puzzle solving at the same time. And well, here's I the told point. you guys that you're going to feel stupid after this. Well, here's the problem. I have no I knowledge of sizes. I have no knowledge of sizes. I have horrible knowledge of creatures. So I'm useless. My guess. My guess was because I delved into my dungeon brain. You said I didn't. Ha you said I couldn't use Google, so I did not use Google. I used the tab. Yeah, you know, the the uh, what you call it? The information tab. I looked at the bat tab, and my there was a bat is worth. Wait, 10. wait! You looked at one of these creatures' stat blocks. I did. You never said we couldn't. You didn't say I that. You said I couldn't use Google. Buddy, that when I said you couldn't Google it, that was part of it. That was not explicitly implied. You cannot actually game. You cannot get me for that. You said no googling. I did not google. You, I think he, he meant, he meant no looking up their stat blocks. He should have said no looking up their stat blocks. He shouldn't have said no googling. I am going to rule. Okay, your next rule is going to be with disadvantage, Owen, just because of that technicality. But yeah, that was a little. Mm. Yeah, that was. Mm. I only ever got to look at the. You wouldn't look up stat sheets in a monster during a fight, right? That should be common sense. Yes. Yes. Once again, you said no Googling. Yes, that Google. was within it, and you would... Look, you don't Google a monster when you fight it. I feel like that should be within the realm of common sense. I say you should have been clearer, but... I will... Yuri, s just stop. Yeah, look. Let's just, let's just continue okay. on, please. Anyways, as you guys enter this next room, like, you go up another hill, suddenly, you see this wall of crystals, except... As you get closer, they are separated apart as if they're defying gravity. 
Wow. They're floating wow. from the ground in all sorts of shapes. The ceiling goes so high you can't even see the top. Well, this map seems familiar. And as you guys see this site, that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Of course. Aww. Bye!